So last time, you guys traveled to Landen. You guys went and you fought Janice Trigley. Upon doing so, you went to a town in which, upon visiting, met a lot of Warforged after you were teleported by Arlanda. You walked out, you met Mekthar Tenniel. You found out that there was a field that was located nearby. You guys caused a gigantic storm after go goblins. Allegedly. We did. Uh, goblins. Did. Sure, somebody did. Allegedly. <laughs> we only went to some But storm. Yeah. Um, after killing some goblins, and upon doing so, um, fled with the rest of about 50 to 60 inhabitants that were inside of Mekthar's tavern. Um, you guys were able to get out as many as you guys had, and at least could see in your vicinity. After tunneling out um, through Orem Shapeshift, you guys went and teleported back to Percy's um, underground <laughs> secret little area. Upon doing so is where you met Mr. Luscious Girth, a dark-haired man who was kind of hanging out with Percy, um, where after divulging quite a bit of information, you guys found out that he had a seasonal gem among a teleportation device. You guys went and decided that you were going to head to New Wall and figure out what was going on with some of these storms. You guys went, found Aridens, met Gavik, went into Aridens, stayed for a day, gathered, or gathered some things, excuse me, and upon doing so found out that there were two inmates that were taken after going out of the region and going near a place called Dragon Scale Keep. These inmates were taken to the New Wall prison and Gavik once them returned for information on a Jackafine, an individual in which supposedly has information on how to traverse the cloud well or the cloud top regions a lot easier. So you guys set out headed towards New Wall, and upon doing so, realized that there was the Hex Guard that was setting up large blockades about a mile outside of New Wall. These large blockades were stopped, and it looked as if this guard was asking for papers or some sort of identification for all individuals that were fleeing due to this large ice storm that was starting to basically take up most of Hexwell. Upon doing so, you guys were given bikes that you guys took, and near the end of the episode, Mr. Girth turned and saw a shadowy individual. He looked back, and basically said that he was watching. And you see just this dark individual standing near your bikes, about maybe 9,000 feet off. You barely see it kind of illuminating off of some of the fires and the lanterns that are kind of going off, and that's where we're going to start. Um, you, as we start, see just this individual now <clears throat> turn and not just vanish, but walk. Not too quickly, but off into the forest and then just kind of disappear. About five, ten seconds go by, and you guys are all kind of around, but you were the only one that saw this. That's where we're starting. Oh, I see that. I see what? Was it Sage? Was it a shadow awesome. figure? Yeah. Hey? Oh, no. Everyone but him now. Oh, Let me guess, it just disappeared? Well, technically, this vanished. time it didn't vanish, it walked oh, into yeah. the woods. Man, it walked. Yeah. I'm slow. They're walking now? It it fuck. Was... They're evolving. Good shit. Yeah, if you travel with us, that'd be a comic. Great. Right, so what do you guys do? We were Hello? discussing how the fuck. I believe we determined we're not gonna try and cross this. Last time you guys talked, you were thinking about maybe going around, and then you yeah. guys decided uh, that was probably gonna take way too long. But then we can also hear that they go <clears throat> over. Yeah, yeah, right, like you talked about maybe flying over, yeah. dropping in or something. Yep. Uh, I, I mean, now it is quite snowy, so flying. Kind of rough, but it would also possibly cover you some as well. So, disadvantages and advantages. 
How tall is the wall, by the way? Of New Wall? Yeah. That's a or the, wall blockade. That, the wall that the blockade that we... So the blockade is kind of sectioned out. So the first part of the blockade is about half a mile, and then there's a large section that kind of, like, divots out. Like, they can't just construct walls like that immediately. I assume it was... So, they have like these like checkpoints almost and as they are the main like roadways and then in between you see that there are individuals on what look to be either horseback or you're not quite sure but you've seen a couple that have been tracking back and forth making sure individuals aren't going through but the land between new wall the entry point the mile out is like flat land it looks as if it's like a very defensible city like a very walled up and then just flat no terrain or flat terrain excuse me uh, so, problem is, like, I, like, I turn into a very large bird, and I can even, I mean, those make us pretty stealthy while we do it. Uh, the thing is, is one of you falls off, I, like, I, I'm not, I can't do anything to see. I have feather falling. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Wait, how does that work? Is that for multiple people? Yeah. A, a reaction and yeah. you And then theoretically, I can then slower. go back and pick them up as they're falling. That's fucking useful. That's actually incredible information to have. That's actually quite nice. All right, that solves more or less that problem. Yeah, there's also the mundane option of using a rope to tie us to you. Point as well. And we're yeah. just swinging around. <laughs> we fall or well, we could do both. We could but just... I was like, put magic school down. Like, I don't know. Are you saying, Could like, you fly, fly, fly while yeah. holding oh, yeah. onto this rope? No, we'd be, like, on, we'd be, we'd be, on, we'd be, on, yeah. we'd be, he would be, like, tied on top of it. Oh, yeah, we could do that, I guess. Fair. All right, so I think, I think we can just fucking fly. Uh, it's gonna be... <clears throat> Does anyone have its ability? Does anyone make me a little buffer? I have that. And make your... Are you... Uh, you fucking... Is it, you're, you're I didn't bless you. Bless only lasts like a minute. Yeah, bless is only a minute. Yeah, uh, enhanced ability is like an hour. <coughs> uh, yeah, enhanced ability is an hour. Again, uh, motivational speeches. <laughs> it's on wisdom saving throws. On oh, wisdom saving? Sure, I mean, cool. Oh. Uh-huh. You have to come up with a motivational speech, though. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you vamp for five minutes. Fucking fly! <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> and if you can't, we all die. <laughs> so, fucking do it. Perfect. No pressure. And yeah. if you can't, I actually have feather falling. Alright, so what are you guys doing? Uh, we're trying to figure out the logistics of flying. Would Pass Without a Trace what are you help worried us about? in the sky? Huh? What, what are, you, were, were you trying to figure out if you all can fit on the animal? Uh, I think we can. It's, uh, it's mostly like... And am I then going to be able to successfully fly? And then he said it was also difficult weather, so that's gonna. Uh, and cause where some are you gonna problems. land? Huh? We'll figure that out when we cross that bridge. Like once we, we get on go the other side. Yeah. The we know. I mean, we know yeah. the door is on the back side. So. Yeah, that's so all we know. So we'll figure it out when we get over this mountain. Um, when and if the other person, I'm just, I'm just all insurance, dog. Like you can't just. Go in with no plan. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, plan. Yeah, yeah. The bad part is wrong. like none of us can see. Wait, do you, you have bird vision? Is a bird? I have dark vision. Do they have? Does the bird have special dark vision? Oh, well, certainly not. A giant eagle. Oh, they were actually turned into it before, but no, he's turned into the. I think the Quetzalcoatl. Yes, hundred percent. Oh. I, mean, I, I have no idea about that. I mean, I can look to see if it's That's the only has. option he has that can turn that can carry all of us. Yeah, that's the only. Yeah, that's the only huge fuck. How know? the fuck do you spell that? Yeah, that does not. U e t z a l. Yeah, it's. If you ever play an arc, it's the dinosaur once you tame it, you build an airbase on it. So, so I feel like we have contingencies worked out. So I think we are okay. okay. You ever figure out if? Uh... Yes, I have it equipped. Okay. I have it prepared. Probably like. Yes. I don't know what that's. Oh yeah, I can fly a little bit, so like, oh, well, I'm you can, how long does that last? Oh, it, my fly? Yeah. Just enough so I don't die when I hit I the ground? I also have a disguise. Fair. It's a bonus action. It doubles my move speed, so I just do it right before I hit the ground. But we can do that when we get there. Myself, like, oh. 
Oh, that's a very good I can do that yeah. for free. Uh, fucking full strength and mid. Oh, yes. Um, bull's, like the... bull's strength would be wonderful. Uh, because that would also double my carrying capacity. Uh, yeah, you guys have a heavy suit. I think it'll be. Yeah, but how strong is the Quetzal blah blah blah? I'm also huge. So, oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, His carry capacity is mad. He can carry like a house. What? All right. So a uh, bull is what you want? Bull, yeah, bull strength. Target Yeah. Uh, it only lasts 10 minutes. Uh, okay. All right. That is, so do you do your thing? Yep, I cast bull strength on you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to cast pass without a trace. Um, so that gives us a bunch of fucking health checks and shit. All right, now are you guys... No, just doing this all out in the open. I mean, aren't we in a thicket of trees where our shit is? Or are we like yeah, they're just kind of walking back alongside of the side of the road. Oh, we would find something. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I thought, I I thought, no, we do right in the middle of the checkpoint. Hey, well, I didn't know if you guys were like heading, heading back towards your bikes or if you guys were heading or going. Uh, yeah, we would have found. All right, so you guys just kind of jumped off about 500 yeah, feet off. Uh, yeah, find a side thicket. Um, make sure you're out of sight. Uh, give me a perception check. <laughs> Fourteen. Fucking. Fourteen as well. Fifteen. Oh, about ten. How much you can tell? Nine. You seem as if no one's looking around. You don't seem to notice anything. Okay. I uh, think I said this last time, but I was like making a mental note. Everything. Really? Where, where, where we are, so I know so we where the bikes you. are. Got you. Okay. Uh, all right. We're you're doing that thing. I'm doing my thing. I'm gonna fucking wild shape. Into a giant ass fucking dino bird. Giant ass, okay. Yeah. Cheeks start flapping. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's how we fall. Yeah. It's actually Jeez. far from that. All right. What color? Uh, uh, he's. It's gonna be. I don't. I don't what the fuck is a dinosaur? Huh? Well, what no, color? I'm also a, like a robot. Uh, let's go with brown. Sure. Okay. Joey's over here whispering brown. Sounds good to me. Okay. Brown sound. Yeah. All right, so you transform, and you guys all just wait a moment as this takes place. You see this gigantic, almost like hardened form, somewhat like sleek metallic of this large. What is it? Quetzal Quetzalcoatl. Quetzal 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 yep, I know what it is. It's Quetzal huge. Quetzal um, you guys yeah, get on top of it. Huh? You guys mounting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah. yeah. You doing it? All right, so seem a little too excited. You guys, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you guys, right into the you get on top. Defenses of new wall. Here we go. You take it off. Uh, yeah. All right, now we have. We were gonna tie rope. Round it. Okay, so give me a. Um, oh Jesus. Uh, is anybody proficient? Were, were we gonna tie a rope to him or just tie a rope to each other? Who well, we all depends on what you guys. I mean, we have we have it has to be connected, be connected to him somehow. Dude, just think of like fucking roller coaster. Is anybody proficient? Man, we around him. What? I mean, I'm animal handling. I'm yep, you're the animal though. <laughs> yeah, no, I keep all my mental stats. Right, but yeah, but you can't the tie the rope, dumbass. They're the one tying it around you, uh, so they need to know how to okay. how to attach it decently. Sure, like rain, like we're no? some rain. Yeah. Okay, so then, um, whoever one of you will take, um, give me an intelligence check. Then that'd be him. Certainly. Could tying it not be a sleight of hands check? Yeah, give me. You guys gotta figure out how to like tie this thing on here decently. What are you doing? No, no, intelligence, because none of you are proficient. Oh, intelligence. I can't well, the only one that could be proficient would be him. But he's not. 14. Um, you come up with a decent plan of trying to, you know, strap it around almost like the shoulders or around like the back legs and try not to impede like the tail or most of the wings. It kind of goes over the chest. Um, do you guys have enough rope? How much you guys got, like 50... I mean, I have 50. Yeah, I, I have 50. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys, you guys got at least like 200 feet of rope. Yeah. All right, so you guys will be able to need like 50 for like each side. So you guys throw it over. Um, give me a slide of hand check, whoever is going to take the helm at this. Not me. Me, 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 nope. me. All right, this is you tying it down. That's 26. Oh, yeah. Nice. So you kind of loop it around and noticing even a couple spots where his idea was off now that you're actually harnessing it on adjusting it slightly you know giving orm a little bit more room to almost breathe with his wings and making sure this thing's not gonna fall off 
The only thing you gotta worry about is you all falling off. So, <laughs> you guys mount, you get on, moves, not an inch. But you feel it's quite comfortable. You guys ready to take off? This point, yes. Alright, give me a stealth check for you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, you're just taking off, and then once we get into the air, it'll be a series of so a couple here. So are we here. all, like, holding on to yep. the rope? Now, are, are you guys oh, just sitting? Yeah, no, he, I, I, you guys, like, tied them all around your waist. Yes? Or did you guys tie, like, a netting around the back that you're gripped onto? I thought it was, like, oh, like, shit. like a harness. What'd you choose? You're the one who tied it. What yeah, are you doing? You're the one tied it, so you get what are you doing? We all got it around our waist. Around the waist. So you kind of made, like, little loops for each individual that kind of is off the back shoulders. Uh, that yeah, way, yeah, if yeah. someone maybe falls, it's going to catch. So it's about 10 feet each one of you. So... 20 total. 20 total. So you get off quietly. You guys look around. Nobody seems to notice. As you start gaining a little bit of height, you notice that the wind in this storm, it's not quite as strong as it was near Landen, but it is picking up. You notice that as you kind of take off. Now, how high are you going to go? Like, you want to go about two, three, four, five hundred 500 feet up? I'd say you could probably go about eight, 900 feet and probably start breaching, like, no visibility. Like uh, you won't be able to see the ground with the snow. Oh wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> if visibility is at six hundred feet. All right. So you make it up to about. Kind of a good thing we're brown too. Yeah. You guys make it up to about six hundred feet. Now, at about twelve thirty, almost one a.m. at this point. Everybody, give me a stealth check as you guys are now kind of like latched on, hanging the best you can, kind of almost like free dangling off the side. I was going to say, you also have plus 10 for passion. You're good. Yeah. Make sure you're plus 10. Oh, all passion? Yep. All. Uh, 30. Nice. Good. 22. Nice. Did you roll? 20. 19. Oh, yeah. So, everybody easily. Now, as you guys take off and you fly, you're heading towards New Wall. Yeah, we're gonna we're trying to go over the mountain. Now, the mountain. Yeah. in your direction, you know that it was kind of like an opening, mm-hmm. and then you start taking off in that direction. You maybe go a minute or two before you very faintly see what looks to be lanterns, kind of just illuminating through some of what looks to be like some of the snow. Um, everybody, give me a perception check. As now, from what you believe to be, well. Ooh. <coughs> uh, 22. 22? 20, 22. Okay, so as you guys make it up, you guys see that there looks to be about maybe 50 to 60 small little like sconces of light that you can barely see with your height just kind of flickering through the snow. As it kind of starts barreling through, it's very cold up here. You guys start getting just beaten and pelted with snow and ice. As you guys are flying through for about five minutes, you guys all take two points of damage just from the ice beating and pelting into you. You try and, you know, weather it the best you can. Um, It doesn't seem to be impeding anything other than just your flight status. And then a huge kind of gust of wind just kind of wakes through. Orm, give me a strength saving throw. Strength save? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Plus three. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think bull strength. I think the bull strength is only checks. Checks, yeah. Yep, only checks. Uh, you need to be a 15. Okay. Uh, give me one sec. Not proficient in that, but this thing's stat is plus two. So that's 15 on the dot. Ooh. Okay, so that so as it, it, you kind of start to on. tilt and kind of not quite sure what this form, and then you remember, ah, uh, I remember reading something, and you kind of tilt it back, gaining, you know, tilting your wings back towards the wind force. Gaining actually now a little bit of speed as you start taking off. I pause the music. You then kind of coast in. It kind of knocks you down just a little bit. And now you can faintly see this large city. About half of it. You see the first like front part is just walled in almost security. You see large like monuments of these huge um, dwarven deities. I don't know if you guys... Uh, Anybody proficient religion? I believe I am, but I need to bring a check. Uh, yeah, give me a religion check if, if, if you can to know. What if you know? Uh, you 25. Would, 25? 
Um, you know that one of them is a large statue of Doug Marin, bright mantle, and the other one is Dumathian. You see both of these huge, large statues side by side, and as it kind of coasts in, you look down, you see that there are guards, dwarvish, very noticeable. The large bearded, as you guys rolled pretty good on your... Well, what was your perception? The highest one? 22. 22. You guys easily see that they are quite armed. You see ballistas lining the gate. And the first almost half of this walled structure that goes into the city is all for, like, defense. You see that there are large runes underneath some of these ballistas and on the walls, giving you maybe some sort of, you know, magic defense that they have built in. As you look around, though, you don't really see a clear landing area. You look off in the mountains, very jagged and rigid. It looks as if some places have been almost broken off and like spikes have been like leveraged up for that purpose so that there's not like a flat place to really land a large aircraft or something very easily. You though, um, possibly could find somewhere if you maybe kept on flying around to the side, you see that due to the weather, the large sides and towards the back, not as, uh, I'd say, touched by the dwarves, you see that it's kind of flattened off due to the snow and weather. It's very um, domed off and you kind of see it off through the fog as the snow is kind of like breaching through and it looks as if there's only a defense on this front half of the city. The whole back half is just structure and mountain. And this this like door that we've been made aware of is on the back of the mountain or the back of the city? Both. You are toward the mountain, right? By the guy, yeah, yeah, okay. mountain city. I mean, yeah, it's all, okay. all the same. Okay. Mountains in the city, uh, okay. I'll keep flying over, well, um, relatively over the city, yeah. All right, so, so we're already directly overhead. You guys yeah, kind right. of start going over. Let's see if any of the guards notice. No, nope. So they kind of look. And you notice they're all kind of just looking out, noticing most of the people that are setting up at this blockade. You guys fly over seamless. Now I need one more um, strength saving throw. You kind of bridge up over this crest. You notice that you kind of elevate another two, three hundred feet to get up over part of this little lip of the nice. mountain. Uh, natural 19. Oh yeah. You easily kind of coast. You even ascend further going up into a more like hidden path, making sure to take a safer route. Feeling sturdy now that you know this form. You make your way up, kind of up, uh, I'd say west, over the side, you start coasting over about a mile. As you do so, you start making your way just over a snow-covered mountain. You see full mountainscape on the backside of this. You guys, I'd say coast about a mile and a half more. It takes you about an hour. You guys make it on the backside from what you can believe. And you see a small beaten pathway along the snow of a trailway that's been formed. That is really all that you can barely make out, and then it just disappears throughout the mountain range. Okay. Uh, is there anywhere relatively close to that path that I'd be able to land? Um, it kind of like bellows out. It, you guys are like, let's say, you know, about a thousand feet up. Uh -huh. the, the back of this lower part of the mountain kind of uh, descends down and there's a landing and okay. you see the trail, you know, maybe about a half mile from where you were just yeah. kind of dissipate. You guys could find an easy landing How there within some of the, the trees. Trail to like the city edge, or um, is it like on the other side? Of the other side of the mountain, yeah. Okay, so good. this is like there, there, there's there's a solid like almost I'd say two thousand feet almost where the trail ends and the back end of the mountain. Oh, okay. And the, this trail is leading away from the city. What? Not quite sure. Okay. You just see a trail. Oh, it's, you just see it. Yeah, it's, it's okay. been formed. Oh. Okay. Now, on this back end of this mountain, do we see any kind of opening? Give me a perception check. Uh, 13? Not from where you're at, but you do see, just looking around, that there are tons of foot traffic. Some, it looks as if maybe humanoid, some possible creature or animal. Yeah. Um, but going in many different directions. You don't see any, like, paths, like, cartways or anything in your vicinity. Also, look. You want to, yeah. Perception. Investigation. I cast guidance on them. 
If you're looking for the tracks. Plus four to yeah, yeah, yeah. your check. Plus four. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you look around. You take a little bit longer, I'll say. Um, you don't really pick up on anything right away. Uh, how far do you want to venture off from where you're at? From where we all are? Mm-hmm. You don't see it. Now, do you guys have any source of light? Because it's completely pitch black. Actually, I have a about 1.30 a.m. and it's completely dark. So, I have minor illusion. Is you it, have dancing lights or anything? Uh, the player has light. I can, I but do we want to broadcast our, our location like that? I'm murdered. Morph is a bear. Morph is a bird. I cast light on my face. All right, so you just kind of illuminates within the small little forested area. As it illuminates, you can see now there is, I'd say, a lot of pathway kind of heading almost like a southeast in your direction. As you are now looking and where you saw the trail more north, like west, you notice that the pathway around just by looking some creature you see that there's like almost a common beaten path of like three to four pathways of what look to be traveled quite frequently especially recently even with all the snow i'm missing this yeah. what else are you doing I say we take the beaten path. Well, we see a path in front of us. Yeah. You see a couple. You see three. Which direction goes towards the mountain? All three of them. They kind of veer off in different directions. One goes like kind of towards the heart, and the other two kind of veer off slightly. <laughs> now we're going to a secret entrance. With the secret entrance, there's be only on one, a beaten path. Only one door. Probably know all the paths. Let's just take the good one. Fuck it. The one that's more pathy. Give me an investigation oh, the one, check. The one that's been more traveled. Give that's me an investigation been... check, yeah. More path guidance. <laughs> I got a 14. Uh, yeah, was... This could be a survival check, too, actually. Yeah, let me use that. Mm, investigation 16. Check. Okay. Um, you think just by looking that the one on the left is more recent traveled but they all seem to be pretty equally traveled and it seems to be possibly only one or maybe two individuals going on each pass, passing point you don't really see a ton of different size footsteps either on each one they all almost seem to have like their own foot size in each side and then it seems as almost they kind of converge around not necessarily your point but within maybe an area nearby Left one, then. Left. Yeah. To the left. All right. Who's leading? Uh, no. If we're going into like a path and trees and whatnot, I will no longer be at the. Just like the trees are just like. Smash. <laughs> just like. Uh, <laughs> what's going on there? No, I'm good. I'm not good. It's like. It's like I, King I, Kong coming through the jungle. I will be a guy again. I want to do this. Be scared. All right, so who's going first? What's our order here? So I can just write it down just so I can keep track. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have uh, Jake followed by, we have Fuck This, by Magnus. Maybe you should be in the middle since you... Yeah, I'll be in the Followed by Life. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll be rear guard. I'll be the last. And then we got Girth. And we have Mr. Orm. All right. So... You guys start walking to the left. Now, as you guys travel at normal pace, I assume, um, you guys travel How for- How well can I see in front of you? Do you have dark vision? Yeah. Not very well. Yeah, do you? Dragonborn's not have dark vision. Oh, we all had dark I do, because I have a magic item. But why, because I'm a tiefling. Yeah. I then have you can't mega see, dark vision. You can't see shit. 
Mm -hmm. You're yeah, walking I'm completely I'm blind. blind. Oh, we had a light. Oh, true. You, you can see about what? Yeah, he's got a light. Ten, so, so uh, 15 feet. I was going to say, I, I could light 40 feet total. 40 yeah, feet. So I could light a torch, too, if I had yeah. to. Yeah, you can. I, I, yeah. Do you want it? All right, so you want a torch. You can kind of see about, you know, now about 30 feet in front of you quite easily with life about 10 feet behind you. You guys start walking down this pathway. Um, you guys go for about 30-ish minutes. Um, it's a decent trek. Um, you're not quite used to these lands, and you're not also trying to damage all your gear or break a leg. You guys go through a couple, like, falling over trees. The snow is quite thick and cold. Some of it's starting to ice over. Um, as you guys make your way in, you guys wait, and you guys see that it looks as if these foot passages that are in the snow kind of go almost in, like, a little triangle formation and then go off almost directly east from your direction. You guys take a moment, you sit there, and then you kind of hear off in the distance in that same direction a couple of foot shuffles. You cancel hear it. You, hear, you cancel your light. You hear just... You're not quite sure if it's coming towards you or adjacent. But that's all you hear. Now, you guys are in, like, some pretty thick foliage. Like, it's almost shoulder to shoulder in some areas. It's it's pretty dense. Are you talking about triangles? You, you... The foot path. It seems as if it goes... In, you're, you're in, like, a little small opening a little bit, and you yeah. see, like, a triangle pattern that looks as if it's almost been walked. Okay. And then it kind of veers off and goes east from your direction to the right. I don't know. Um, I mean, for right now, until we <coughs> actually make a decision, I'm at least going to, like, crouch down. You said that there's pretty thick foliage? Yeah. Okay. Imagine, like, a corn maze almost with, like, a pathway kind of just uh, I'm walked out. I'm hunched over at the very All right, so you kind of fall down. What are the rest of you guys doing? As you hear... I'll duck and hide. I'll hide as well. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. All right, give me stealth checks for everybody that's hiding. We still pass without a trace or no? No, no not at this one. point. 26. What? Which we want? You're definitely hidden. You kind of just fall back, kind of tuck your cloak around yourself, and just kind of blend in. No, I have 14. I have just the 14? Spot. You think you're pretty close. Okay. 15. Okay. What is it? 10? Did you 10. put out your torch? Okay. Yes. Okay, you put out your. <laughs> no, just. <laughs> or that. Would you roll over? 8. 8. Okay, you guys wait a few moments, about five minutes go. You guys kind of sit there on edge. You hear, and then stop. Wait a few moments. Seems as if whatever is moving stops a few times. And then you see faintly this small blue hum about three feet off the ground coming back down towards this path that was kind of heading east with the snow kind of pushing back and forth with nobody really having light or vision you don't really see anything other than a small blue hum and this small figure maybe about four four and a half feet tall maybe at max something maybe to the right of it you're not quite sure you just see almost like a dark silhouette just boom, boom, now, it why stops can't I, why can't i see him how far away is he about 200 300 feet so when you were even my moving, mega dark vision. when you were moving when the creature was moving did it sound mechanic or um, i can't, can't tell it's on snow you're not sure over the wind and everything you're not quite sure i could just shoot the guy yeah. don't, that worked the last time it's it's like, don't go shooting things you don't you hear do, 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 do. it starts kind of making its way towards you again and then it gets to, I'd say about 200 feet. It stops. You see it kind of move. It looks almost like it looks to the right. And then it looks to the left. And then you see this blue little ornament almost kind of move up what looks like to its mouth for a moment. And then back down. You see it dangle back around whatever it looks like maybe near its chest. And then 
spins around. You see it turn its back. You see no longer this blue. Then circles back once more and turns facing you. And then walks about another 10 feet. Does the whole get up all over again. Stops. It's getting closer. Yep. Okay. It looks like it's almost walking. It, and it does this about another two or three more times to where it gets to about 120 feet from where you are. The rest of you are kind of about 10, 15 feet behind, all just dropped in the best you think you could within this foliage. Is it following this triangle path? It hasn't made it to the triangle path. You see it's still going down what looks like this straightish path as you guys are kind of like off. Now, the, the, it's like an opening. You guys just see this, you know, trail that looks like it's been walked by some creature or something. So you guys doing anything? Wait and see. I mean, I just say walking this path okay, is fine. fighting words, in my opinion. <laughs> Take the triangle path to lands unknown. I this thing's only like hundred. Like, you probably notice it. Yeah. Don't we know what the fuck this thing is? I have no. I was thinking. Oh. Does does this <laughs> things like the. Uh, let me describe there's a hum in the well, right? This hum? Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Yeah, you heard this like blue hum. It almost sounded like when you heard it maybe interact just for a moment or maybe put it up to its mouth. Okay, so it does happen every time it does the get yep. up. It does, yep. didn't happen once. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's weird it's doing that. Personally, I'm just going to wait and see until we get back. Look at this. Good. You good? Let it come. Spoken like a true hero, Jake. Famous last words. <laughs> Alright, so you guys wait a few moments. About five minutes ago, you watch this individual or creature, you're not sure, get closer. How far can your dark vision see? 120. Now, at disadvantage, give me a perception check. Fifteen. You notice this individual as it moves closer, it looks to be humanoid. It doesn't look to be a monster or any creature from which you can tell, though its movement is pretty standard. Might even be a possible half L or a um uh halfling, maybe a dwarf almost so it's around a, that it's size. A, it's a stockier humanoid yeah it's about you know four feet ish um as you see it get closer you notice that it's got this blue now that it gets closer it's some sort of rune around its neck you see it kind of glowing and illuminating like this almost light blue as it gets closer you see it stop it looks over who goes there? I said, who goes there? As you see the figure stop, and you see something off of its back slowly get drawn. How far away is he? Uh, about 60 to 70 feet. Can I just shoot him? I'm not going to say it again. Who goes there? Who's asking? The name's Regro. And I walk these lands as a god. Okay. You're trespassing. Trespassing on what? You're trespassing. On what? There's like storms and stuff out here. Yes, and if you want to enter, you can do so up front. Come forth. Show me who you are. Up front? Up front of what? Come forth. You see now whatever has been drawn on his back. You see, you hear. Come forth. Uh. Um, 
I will quietly. Uh, and then I will walk out of this cornfield. Whatever field we're in. <laughs> yeah. Foil. You, you, you walk out of the, the, yeah. the thick yeah. covered foliage. Yeah, like like yeah. the reverse Homer Simpson. Yeah, the reverse. You come out, you see him. How many are there? Is it just you? It isn't just me. Where are the rest of them you see kind of looks and as you look now you're about 60 feet the snow's kind of billowing around but you can see it's about a three and a half four foot very stocky dwarf covered in very thick gear and tunic wearing very heavy gear with a large spear and a huge crossbow that he has now just kind of slung over he's looking and you see this blue hump that's kind of dangling around his neck some sort of like runic uh, almost stone it looks like mm -hmm. as he stands there he goes for it, he puts something up to his mouth, you don't hear him, it's very quiet, and then he drops it. Stay right where you are! Yeah. So, how many more are there? Couple? Couples how many? Well, I'm confused. I'm not. Do you have any weapons on you? Yes, I mean, I got a stick. Kind of makes his way up about 10 feet. Now, the rest of you, as you're looking, you guys are still like side with Orm. Like, you guys are all still kind of like in a line alongside this foliage as he's kind of like making his way, breaking almost like this kind of triangle. And as you guys look at it, he's kind of like making his way towards the right of what looks like this like almost square, like brush formation. As he kind of walks up, he's about 50 feet from you and about 40, 30-ish from the rest of you guys. Um, he turns, and you see that he sees you, and as he walks up, he notices you, you, and you. He doesn't show it, but he looks over and darts his eyes back. Did you point at me? And then, what was your roll? I think it was 26. No. Oh. He kind of veers back off to the right away from you guys trying not to show but you guys all saw that he kind of noticed you now i'm going to say this one more time i'm out and drop your weapons what do you guys do what was this guy's name or that arm uh it was Rundal. Rundal? Yep. R U N D O L. Rundal. Okay. Uh, Rundal, we're just trying to get to Newall. That's around here, right? Oh, it's here. You know it's here. Okay. Where do you come from? That way. Where are your friends? And now he turns and you see his crossbow. Now is not. She's kind of waving it at you three all along the brush side. What are you all doing here? Trying to get to Newall. I'll have some friends here in a moment that'll help escort you. Back around front. There's no need to be out here. You have no purpose walking this area. Okay. So, is that what the, the little doodad did? Don't worry about what I'm doing. Why are you worrying about what I'm doing? It's my job. I'm part of the guard. What are you doing with your stick? Trying to get to Newall. That's it. Through the back entrance that doesn't exist. The back entrance? No, I just said it doesn't exist. And what are you guarding? The lands for heathens like you, walking on New All territory, trying to cut down any trees or spoil any of the inhabitants of the creatures here. So there is a back entrance. Did no. To do an inside check, do I have to be talking to this guy? You just have to see him. No, you just have to see him. <laughs> He's like... 19. Uh, I'll say it's at disadvantage because of the weather and from you kind of being like stealth into the foliage. <laughs> Five. Uh, you look 
you're not quite he's sure. He hasn't really given his any like body language, but he could be lying. We know it's he's a guard walking in open territory in the back end. I was just curious about the non-existent baggage. But I guess with the fly there, bro. No. <coughs> yeah, you're not sure about that. What are the rest of you guys doing? Yes, you guys to step out and drop your weapons. How far away is he? From you, uh, about 35 feet. I'm going to pick up Jake. <laughs> With my brain. I'm just going to drop him right in front of the guy. Just straight up. What? Okay. One of, them, one of us is coming out. So, right. as soon right, as you then, pick him so, up, the guy lets loose the cross bolt and is going to shoot it right into you. He, he didn't notice Jake. Who's he shooting? Natural 20. Is right into you. Yep. Um, He'll be fine. So, uh, he sees you distance. as it lifts up. No. 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 I'm picking you up with my brain and say. moving you. Yeah, he, he picks him up. Now, as this happens, he still moves you. Um, you're just like, ah! Yeah, you're just going to take this... Um, 79 piercing. No. Uh, 21. Or, I'll say 20. Um, points of piercing damage as this bolt just shoots right through, right into your chest. You get moved right in front of him, and you see him spin and almost drop about 10 feet back behind you. You see him toss his crossbow, and he pulls this spear. What are you doing? Yo, dude, why did you just shoot my friend? What why did he come at me? You see him lift the stone once more to his mask, and now in this time, does anybody speak Dwarven? You do? Yeah. And if anybody hears this, send them more. They're coming after me. I'm not sure how many more there are. And he drops it. You see him now. <sighs> He's looking around. I'm going to be like, look, man, you don't want any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to slowly pull out my halberd and just stand there. He's gripping now, and you see the wind and just everything, and you have no light source, so you just hear this. You're just he's a metallic dragon. You hear it. You know he's. I swear, I. You know that he's in front of you, but other than that, he's about ten feet, and it's just dark. You just hear his voice. I'm pretty and sure he, he has dark vision. Does he? Yes. Doesn't say it. I have it on my paper. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Well, then let's say you do for the but, sake of it, right? Yeah. Now. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Then you can see him. What do you do? Dang it. Um. No, he doesn't. I have no idea how he had it. I have it on uh, paper, but or Orm's just gonna like sigh, and he's just gonna like look at this dwarven, and I'm just like, dude, I tried really, really hard, but not. Nah. Like actually talk it out. Unfortunately, I'm just really bad, and you're really distant. I only know of one solution to this problem. I apologize. That looks at you. What about your friend here? Comes at me from the fucking the fucking woods. Yeah, he's the solution to the problem. And the other ones, they haven't walked out. Yeah. I can't trust any of you. I mean, you, you, you pulled a crossbow on us. You didn't really try and build trust. You're walking an unsanctioned ground. Yeah? Yeah. You cannot be here. What god do you believe in? I'm not on a first name basis with any of them, really. Not like Even more city. reason for you not to be here. You re this is a religious city? Very. Uh, okay. Which one do you recommend? Whichever one will guide you from these ill ways that you have chosen currently. I'll let you choose that. Maybe in a cell, depending on how this plays out. I don't like that one. I'm in the animals. He just quits that? listening, and he looks at the rest of you, now looking right at you, fuck this. At this point, the other of you guys can hear <laughs> soft footsteps 
faintly off in the distance. I'm just gonna say, this is too much talking. And I'm just gonna step up five feet. He said he was... He's about ten feet away from you. Oh, then you oh well then I can, just, I can just hit him. Yeah. If that's what you're doing. Yes, yeah, I'm hitting him. Okay. <laughs> so you just draw, wield on him? I tried. Okay. <laughs> I tried. Dragon, <coughs> Dragonborn. Oh, 16 to hit. Get Dark Vision. That misses. Mm-hmm. Dragonborn? Dragonborns? Or Dragon Blood, excuse me. They okay. get it. Well, okay, well, well hang on. Either. Since we are doing this. 16 did not. Ravenites get Dark Vision? Hang on one moment. Ravenites are Dark are dark, dark, dark Dragonborn just without the tails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they're those those are the sports guy. All right, so does anybody wish to act as you guys are able to do so? Um, oh, we're attacking this guy? That's what it's looking like here. What's these limitations of this guy's self do this? Is there, like, a spot that, like, that's up that I can get to? Uh, give me a perception check. Can I be investigation? No. Yeah. So we are attacking Six. this guy. How far away is this guy? It seems like. Uh, from you guys, he's about 50 feet now. Hang on one second. Dun, dun, dun. I can burst somebody down with this gun. I wasn't 100% quite set up for this. Oh, the steps are like faintly. I'm Everything's gonna... half movement or difficult terrain, like always in Hexwell, for the most part. Snow. I am going. Oh, my snowshoe is coming along. Oh, those are fun. Those still work. Thank God I can fly as a bonus action sometimes. Granted. I'm gonna cast yes. Sanctuary off myself. Yeah. 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 Alright, now. Does that mean you can't, like, attack? Does that count for, like, spells? Like, AoEs? Any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. The spell doesn't protect the war creature from area effects, such as, such as the explosion from fireball. I'm asking what ends the effect on you. If the war creature makes an attack, casts a spell that affects an enemy, or what else damage to the creature that's not in. So would, like, my second one was less Sacred than weapon count? Yeah, because that's so I'm just going to yeah, bonus healing damage, yes. I'm just going to bonus action and shield effect. Boy, hey. bonus action and show fit. Yeah. All right. I guess. If I, I mean, if that's warm is like genuine that is upset. The turn that I got. You can't solve any of our. Problems. You guys can have one like free action for. Uh, um. We let oh, those this. like an entire action. Oh. oh uh, can I'll, I just shoot this I'll guy? Fucking call, I'll fucking call. I'll cast whole person. Oh, well, that that's grid kind it. of. I'm gonna turn it up. I'm gonna cast full burst. All right, you all can do one free action here while this is all going down. I'm gonna wait until this whole person goes. I'll use mine. You need a DC 17. Where the fuck? Okay, is it wisdom? Ah, uh, fucking hold on. Uh, yeah, DC 17 wisdom save. Correct. Nope, failed. Nice. Uh, he's paralyzed. Alright, so. So that means I'm gonna get my attack. Yeah, the this three, individual. Uh, yeah. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Uh, melee, or if, I, if they're within five feet, melee uh, attacks uh, are automatically a crit. Alright. Uh, the creature is incapacitated, so he can't take actions or reactions. Got you. Yeah, I got it up here. Alright, so at this point, everybody give me initiative. He uh, also, I mean, he automatically fails. 16. Now? I guess that didn't. Wow. That was nice. Awesome. <laughs> like, Zero. It didn't even roll. It just kind of oh, landed on yeah. one. It did not bounce in. Uh, what are we rolling here? 20 to 25. Nobody? 15 to 20. He didn't roll, so. Sorry, 15 to 20. Nobody? 15 to 20. Yeah. 15 to 20 here. 16. He's rolling for him right now. <laughs> To five to ten. Well. Oh, ten to fifteen. Sorry. All right. 
Five to twelve. Or five to ten. <laughs> five to ten, nobody? Yeah, I got four. Yeah, I rolled for you, you don't wanna know. Zero to five. Jake, Zero. Five. I, said, I figured I would just be last since I just did What'd that. you get? Jake got a two. I got a four. Oh, wow. Jake got a two. I wow. Got a shit wow. Wow. I got well, a four. Well, zero. Sixteen. Well, you just don't go. You just like nap in somewhere. Did you make your attacks yet? No. Oh. He was waiting for, for you to do a cast for a person. What you did. But I think what did you? I, I think that was our one action. Yep. Oh, like, oh now we're going into an initiative. It was a group action? Yeah, whole person oh. is going to go just spend it on. Yep. Yeah, that's a very, it's a very good All right, action. so he's actually going to go first. Rough. Um, he can't do anything. Get up. He can't do anything. He's and it, uh, you have to do anything either. All right, so. At the end of your turn, you can make another DC 17 wisdom save. But he will try to make an attack with that free action that you gave us. And yeah, I, but, but the whole person is used. Yeah, I, it was a. It was a yeah, he whoop. used a. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's it. All right, so at this point, um, he's not going to break. Um, you right. guys hear more <laughs> coming off in the direction um, from the left to the right. You're not quite sure. The wind is kind of breaking around. Um, this is on to Magnus. Okay, so he's paralyzed to so his advantage. I just at 20, a sharpshooter. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's at disadvantage because he's person. prone, isn't he? No. no oh, okay, no, cool. You're good, you're good. No. So net 20, I think, two net 20s. Really? Yeah, the, nice. the second attack, the second attack was a two, and you, only, a 20. you only doubled the, you only doubled the, the dice damage. Okay, so it's 30, where the fuck's a d8, plus 12, plus 14. 30 plus 12 plus 14? Yep. Yeah, I got 20, 56. And you just see blood just, just start like, coursing out of this dwarf he's dead immediately <laughs> i'm gonna look back at uh magnus but like, shit you see off in the distance now <laughs> done that to start smaller with. figures like, God, they start running up <laughs> uh, i didn't have faith in you they start making their way these help. wearing shields and they have spears you Can see I try three to more before they get Give me a self check. Like yep, give me a self check. Yeah, you Can guys I have a moment that? here. Okay. You guys hear them coming. You're not quite sure where, but you hear them coming. I will lay down and cast this guy's self into a corpse. Okay. Where? <laughs> just <laughs> on the ground. Well, you're in trees right now. You're like in this foil. Just oh, yeah. all foil. I'm just laying ground. down. Yeah. All right, so you're just laying down. And casting this guy's self. Casting this guy's self into your corpse. You got blood and so just, just, so just a dead guy. I guess. Rune, oh, God, look, nice. Like you got blood covered on you. You got stab yeah, wound, arrow, what? I'm just. How'd you die? I got like a. Is it fresh, old? A stab wound. In, okay, stab uh, wound in the chest, fresh. Yeah. And a little bit old. All right, we'll say like an hour. Yeah. Okay. What are the rest of you guys doing? I rolled a seven. Seventeen. 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 You said these guys had shields. You see one that has a shield, and the rest you're not quite sure. But you see one coming from about that end of the table. That end is north. Okay. So this will be about northwest. Okay. I'm. Um, and the city is just so you guys know. This way. Okay, so the so, city's that so way. So we're going the wrong way. Apparently. I don't fuck. Yeah, that's what direction the city was. He's you were. Oh, there, there might be a... You guys went off and traveled and... Okay. It jumps off. Okay. I don't fucking... I'm here for the ride, baby. Uh, you guys came in from over here. And like made a, into this sounds pathway. Sounds like a cold lightning moment. No, I'm not in the Isn't there like a... I actually don't even think I have a big pass. Really? So you just see a pathway. There's no like path. Nah, it's like there. footsteps where you see people walking. It's not like people made like a trail necessarily. But the pathways that you guys originally saw came from this way. You saw a triangle that goes through here and around wherever this square like object is. And then you see the pathway that this individual came from is possibly from over here or that way. But he ended up coming down a long pathway that was either in this direction. This is where you were walking into a bunch of checks down like this corridor. So we were traveling this way. He was traveling this way. You're traveling this. Way. So you can we're going that roll. You yes. went up there and roll, roll, roll. Yep. Do I need to make a roll or something for? What are you doing? For the like the hide thing that I did. Yeah. If you're stealthing, yeah. Well, no. I, well, it'll be the it'll be a deception thing. check if I ever do anything. 
But you're good. If you're trying to stealth, you can do that it would, too. I, it would be an investigation against his spell save for disguise soul. Sure. So you guys wait a few moments. Um, I am. What are you doing? I tried to hide, but. He's like really um, hit, shittily hidden behind yeah. a tree. I'm, I'm grabbing some trees, but he's and the wind's just kind of shaking him. Uh, I'm gonna just like kind of walk out, uh, and I'm gonna take the dodge action, but I'm not gonna hide. Okay, so you walk out. At first, you're kind of seen. You hear dwarf? Do you, do you speak dwarf? Nope. You just hear dwarven. Something is screamed into this stone. You see an individual and four others swinging around, all in shields, and one wielding some sort of, like, magic. You see the hands immediately, they turn. He starts dashing over towards the body. Hang on, let me get some miles out here. Need these. That's my target. We're going to need these. Casters are important. Yeah. That's another hold person. Uh, yeah. All right, so you see... Coming from this direction now, three individuals out front, and then one more wielding magic that is running over to this body. Now you, Jake, when you hit, you hide in this. That the triple. The, about to find out. The triangle. Did you go here? I was gonna. Yeah. Was, this is okay. So when you go in here. You kind of go to hide, you break through a little bit, and you notice that it's like a rotted building. You break through, and when you think it's actual, like, bark or something, it's actual wood that's right. You just rip it through. And the inside is, like, foliage and trees and just vines breaking through and growing. You hide in there, but as this individual comes running by, completely neglects you. The other three stare right at you. You see this individual take off right over Near the um, other dwarf that has fallen, he puts his hands right on him. You see him move his hands over, and his body just slowly comes back to you. Oh, oh. Kind of sits up. He wakes, and he turns around. He points. They're over there! You guys all hear this as he says it in common. You see blood now dripping. He kind of wipes it. He sips up, and he grabs his crossbow, and he, he starts notching it. What are you guys doing? What, the guy that just died? Yep. Well, I'm going to shoot him. You're shooting him? Alright, so roll to attack. Bad to Isaac is caught again. We back 19. Reaction. 19, okay, that hits. Now, he's just gonna go down. He doesn't have enough. On to you. What are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just watch him, just hey. and he drops it, and he turns, and he looks he right at you. <laughs> what are you doing? Mr. Girthy. Mr. Girthy. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Girth. I feel like I'm not. <coughs> Take something out. <coughs> so, can I just do. Just... You can hold an action or something if you want. Yeah, but that's yeah, up to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I want to hold action. To what? What action do you want to hold and what triggers your action? You got to tell me. So, you're watching. Okay, then. You can tell me if you wish to, but you got to let me know very quickly. All right, on your. Oh, yeah? You're out. You see this all. You see this guy just kind of run by. They revive, all this happens, and you just kind of, they don't look at you, and then you see the guards now. You all are trespassing and have taken a brother. You see them, they kind of collide with their shields, kind of making like this mini wall. Uh, oh, okay, these are probably pretty strong boys. So, like, when I hold my thing, I can, like, yes, attack all the time. You can say, so I want to hold them. Vicious yeah. Mockery okay. if they do something aggressive towards yeah. Orm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they but, do something... Aggr- towards Jake. Or Jake, Orm, yes. Or, yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want. Okay. Like, uh... Get on that. Overwatch. Yep. Uh, now I'm going to re-download... Oh, no, now I'm going to re-download... Um, I, 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 think I'm, I, I think I'm going to go with the, the fucking... What'd you do? Bride and true uh, wild shape. Oh, he's shaping. Yeah. You guys are committing. It's happening. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no person said. Huh? All right. No, he's okay. What are you shaping into? Uh, you I just start. Think... What are you going into? That's the Transformers noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have any. Like, Autobots. Like, I don't have any action. Well, I guess in this case, so we're, 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 uh, we're Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fucking be a polar bear. <laughs> 
Uh, and then I'm just gonna fucking charge this motherfucker. Okay. Uh, the, I'm gonna turn the spell cast. You just turn yeah. and just start and you just start running towards him. Yep, uh, spellcaster specifically. All right, so we'll use this guy. Not word now. And the spellcaster, yep, he's out in the open. The other guy just dropped. All right, I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna I'm make, make, make a couple attacks here. All right, let her rip. Uh, Iron claw attacks or a bite? Uh, I'm gonna do a multi attack, which okay. is a bite and a claw. Nice, one and one. Oh, that's gonna be a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one, that's gonna hit. And then this is for the claw, Ooh, which is only gonna be a twelve to hit. That'll miss. Well, uh, which is it's so much damage. Not a lot. Uh, ten magical piercing damage or some shit. Okay. Yeah, I think knights yep. are piercing. All right. Like you see me? Oh, he takes it. Now, after that happens, you see these three immediately run up, wearing some sort of boots that you see do not impede their movement. Ooh, ooh, and as they run, you I see them move boots. all up, and they strike right into you. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. All right. Oh, there's going to be a bunch here. You better be ready. Give me a couple of them. Uh, let's so we have a 23, yep. an 18, a yep. uh, 16, yep. and a 16. Yeah. All right, two more. Uh, yeah, that one's going to hit in, uh, 13? No. Okay. The so five are going to hit. So as they run up, they're going to do 30. 52 points of bludgeoning damage. I'm no longer a polar bear. And then doof, 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 and you see these wielding large, like almost war hammers, but single handed. Ow. As they come up with the shield, they just, we will protect in the shield and almost position themselves. One does right between you. And you see it as, uh, I can't yet. Never mind. Can't do that yet. All right, that's it. Ow. Um, Oh, the other guy gets to go, actually, so he is. He's going to move right behind them. That was an opportunity attack, yeah. Uh, it is. But as you see this, I get to do a um, shielding reaction with the other, and he's going to go up and block your attack. So this guy on the right is going to actually take your attack for him. Okay. But I'm still just making an attack? Yep. Okay. He basically is, like, swapping positions with one of them. Mm, tasty. Yep. It's like the goblin flavor re, uh, reposition. This is with my fucking style. Yep. Uh, which is gonna be uh, six plus eight is fourteen. Okay, he yep, that's gonna or fourteen will miss. That's what I assume. Yep, so he just boom, it just slams off of his shield. Uh, he is now going to go, and you see the dwarf behind raise his hands, and as he does so, you see small little mouths form from this yellow radiant energy, and they start just screaming this loud noise like wave, like just woo, 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 waving out towards. All of you guys in a. Uh, it's gonna hit you and fuck this actually. So just you two. Um, fuck this in a building. It, it's still gonna hit him. Anything in a 15 foot cube or a 25 foot cube, and that's gonna be. I need strength um, saving throws. These need to pass a 14. Strength save. How yep. far is Orm from me? How far is Orm from me? Uh, about 10 feet. <clears throat> well, that made a journey. That's... Five. Yeah, fucking eight total then. You guys are gonna take twelve thunder damage. I got an eleven. Eleven? That'll fail. Oh, yeah. Doesn't thunder damage do like double damage to people in armor or some shit, or is it contract? No, that's nothing. If you that's if you fail your bad. save, this needs. Would you roll? You fail. Would you roll? Yeah, you guys are both knock prone. Okay. All right, and that's the end. Uh, it is on to uh, you or. Or no? Like this. Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yep, that's fine. So now you vicious mocker, you let loose. So what do you say? Now they turn warfish, and they notice you as they definitely notice that, and they see you now. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Fuck this. What do you do? What a roll then! Oh, that's right. To save. To save. Which one? Which one? Whatever it was game. the guy, whatever the pulse. The was. Sonic one. Okay. Uh, seventeen. That passes. Okay. Doesn't even affect him. 
Yeah, but I still. What do you do? So, doing? am I actually hidden or no? Like, do they actually sure. know where I'm at? You're not sure. Pretty sure you've fallen down and your plate armor was loud enough. <laughs> this is the guy who was revived, right? That guy's dead. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, he's I'm dead. Just gonna... Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So if I stood up and I went here, I can reach this guy. Yes. Oh, almost. Because that's 15 feet. I'm not a big boy anymore. So I stood up 15 feet, half uh, movement, 10 feet reach. I'm going to whack into this. Got you. Twenty-one to hit. Yep, that's gonna hit. And it's twenty-five to hit. Okay. Alrighty. We'll hit. Yep. Thirteen damage. All right. So as you wheel back and you slam into him, you notice that the one is starting to take a decent amount of damage. He kind of shields up, and even though he's only been hit a couple times, he doesn't seem to be that hardy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smite. Okay. Pat attack that versus him. What was your first attack? What a roll to hit. 21, yeah, and then good. a 25. Yep, you're, you're good. That's and this is going to be another 15 smite damage. Ooh, okay. Wham, as it rains down, it just rains, it kind of illuminates within the darkness. <laughs> Your next life. I want um, 16 damage okay. for the second attack. Right. And then another 11 smite. He almost falls. He kind of drops to a knee almost, but then keeps his shield up. <laughs> And he just holds it there. I'm gonna bonus action use um, that cape. Okay. So he sees plus two. two until okay. Now as you do so, and you're, you notice that one of the hinges, as you bring it up, it kind of and it almost locks within the cold weather. And as you bring it up, it almost like stops. You realize that it kind of almost freezes in the moment. And your right arm, as you go to like bring it back down, it will help your AC now, but your right arm is almost like immobile within moving it. So anything with like swinging two hands within this action, it's going to become one-handed. Well, I, I say it only lasts for like the last right, but it's like you're going to gonna have to get it to go back in somehow, uh, or you're going to be impeded with that. All right, so that's my turn. On to you, wife. What are you doing? How clear of a line sight do I have on the mage guy? You're laying in foliage, so uh, not at all. You need to get out of these trees. These are all big, thick brushes and trees. I can't really see the grid anyway. Just Where are you going? One or five. five. You can get up here. I want to move across the can out of the, out the thicket. So I can actually see the guy. Yeah, you're good right there. It would just blast. All right, which one do you have to class in? The mage guy. But, but do it with the hands, got you. All right. The lowest is 15. The all hit is 23. Yeah, the all hit. Okay. You have dark vision. Yeah. yeah. I think he's he has the good dark vision. Yeah, he does. That's right. I think he. Uh, no, I switched no, that he out switched for, that for the fire resistance order. No, for the master mini basis because I thought I was going into a only human thing, but no. Got you. Yeah, D10. All right, Magnus. On you no, after I'm that. Me, no, you're good. I'm well. just saying you're up next, Magnus. You're on deck. 21 fourth damage total. Okay. Now, spiritual weapon. Where are you dropping it? Are they with, is, is he within 60 feet of me? Yep. Spiritual weapon. I have the opacity of the board, but I got to refresh them. Behind back. him. Okay. And I'm going to take a swing. All righty. There is seven, 26 to hit. Yep, that is. That's the D8. Seven force damage. Okay. You see, as it slams into him, he's kind of getting weak. Now, on you, Magnus. I attack twice. Does 16 and 15 hit the mage? You... I ignore cover. I have sharpshooter. Yeah. Move first. I was gonna say yeah. You and need and to I just move up a little bit, just a little bit. 
Okay. No. The sixteen fifteen hit the page. Uh, yes. Nice. That's thirty plus. You see him fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seven. As it just slams in, you see he just falls. Oh, nice. You see the radiant light that was almost pulsating from his palms. Falls. Did action search come back on long rest or short rest? Short. Got my action search. Okay. I'm attack this guy on the right. Do you regain this energy and surge? Long rest since we fought that elemental too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's this is the first fight of the day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm All right, Rollo, you're good. You're good. Seventeen plus five for the first one. It's. Uh, actually, it does five. not. Plus five? No, there's yeah, cover. I don't. I ignore cover. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Sorry. The next one's nineteen. Yes. Or no, that misses. Nineteen. Misses. Twenty. You need twenty to hit. Okay. So fifteen plus twenty piercing damage. On which one? The right one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Go on. All right, now, these three go. Now, as they go to swing, you notice that you both, their blades seem to illuminate with, like, this lightish hum. And you notice that your the scream effect kind of, like, illuminates with it. And it's almost, like, giving off this aura. And as they go to hit with you, you see they have a little bit more oomph to this attack. Uh, if as, you're attacking me, take them one at a time. Um, I have a reaction that I want to use. Yeah, they are. isn't shield. Well, wait, you killed... Who killed the guy on the... Oh, no, he's still alive. Cool. Said, yeah, they're all going into you, then. You said he was really low. Yeah. Like um, said, take one at a time. Four are going into you, and two are going into you. So we'll do four. Do they so, have a reach? Uh, no, the guy on the right needs to move, then. Can you move him for me? Within. Uh, the first one is going to be okay. 10. Oh, shit. But... Uh, hit? Yep. Nope. second one is going to be a 24. That'll hit, at which point I will use uh, my Eldritch Escape. Okay. Um, which will... Uh, I get to teleport. I think 60 feet away. Oh, where are you going? Um, so just boom. In that, that way. Uh, yeah, so you go right here. So then he will then just move here. Burn two attacks. Guy's going here. I do take the damage from that first attack. Or from that, that attack that hit me, buddy. Okay, it's going to be, hang on. As this pulse kind of hits into you, the normal attack is going to do 12 bludgeoning, and then you feel the second kind of pulse that rips through you, and it's I almost like a secondary only scream. Only, only only right, but it, this is from the scream. It's almost like a d debuff it's giving you. You take an extra 15 points of thunder damage after the hit hits you, it like crackles and snaps with whatever, and then you feel this debuff kind of like drop. Um, you now are going to take four attacks. Or two. Two are cocked. Uh, what's your AC? 24. Oh, jeez, none of these are gonna, or one's oh. gonna hit. One is gonna hit. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Shield of Faith, dog. Shield of Faith, and plus one AC. So, so, you see, you, one, you see this Warhammer strike out at you, it, boom, it slams into you, it does eight um, normal bludgeoning. And then you feel this, and it kind of crackles and thunders through your armor. And as it does so, it does an extra 12 points of thundering damage. As this strike hits, you see this dwarf kind of bleeding from the mouth. He kind of spits it out like... <laughs> he then coughs up a fuckload of blood. Um, on to you, Earthy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that guy's almost dead. Oh, okay. okay. That guy's almost dead? Yeah, on the right. Shatter them bitches. Anything I have to explode his brains. <laughs> Big brains are families. Yeah, we can, oh we can fix him. He's not. I cast. He is laying on hands. It's just mockery. Okay. I'll do with the spear thing. Oh. Yep. The almost Hammer. dead guy. What is it? We got 14 wisdom. Natural 17 plus three. Yep. All right. You gonna move around? Uh, Bardic inspiration. Okay. Fuck this. Or I'm on you. You move it or anything? Uh, I mean, probably. <coughs> uh, keyboard. Uh, Whatever. yep. Do anything he does? Uh, so let's play one thing like about anything. It's like attack, Fair ability check, save. attack roll. Anything but only once. Move. Screw me all. Don't want to use that. Uh, oh, fuck it. I will I use. One I did not miss casting spells. <laughs> yeah. And, got, yeah. So well, I got spells and wild shapes, like, and it's just funny. I have, I have my niche, and I tend to stay in that. So one the Elgin Bath and Fertile Weapon. Uh, 
The, 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 I'll mix it up. It's yeah, not me yeah, surrounded, but. If it ain't broke. Yep, if it ain't broke, don't, don't, don't fix it. Uh, is it any, any creature? Ah, fuck it. Then I'm just gonna use my bonus action to cast Magic Stone. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my action to chuck a stone. Uh, right. Is there still, like, foliage and shit between us? Yep. Nah, I don't hate that. Yeah, it's about a 20 foot tall building right in there that you oh, can. Oh, well, I can, I can move that you, way. You can move up. Yep. You want me to move it? Uh, you want yeah. to go this way and move back? You can oh, go yeah. to, like, there and throw it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's 10 feet. That's fine. Alright. I'm gonna fucking. The. Uh, fucking 14 to hit? That'll miss. Yeah, that's what I assumed. I'm gonna move back behind some cover if possible. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yep, I got you. So you move back. Now, as you move back over there, fuck this. I need you to give me a perception. Do you speak Dwarvish? I did choose that. You do? Well, then you hear this very clearly. You don't need anything. While this is all happening, you hear the one that's bleeding out. <clears throat> we, we need to call back to the capital. Give them the descriptions. Tell them everything. Tell them to send more guards. An attack on the city might be imminent. And you see him as he almost passing out. And you see I got the a other perception. You see them all now clutch this stone around their neck. And you see it illuminate with this blue hum. Can I use action to stop them? I mean Isn't it your turn? There's three of them. You can stop on one. From what we've seen. They'd be speaking to this, correct? Wait, yeah, you can kill one and stun the other you one think with your, with they're your speaking into him, yeah. Yeah, I'll allow you a reaction, what do you want to do? Can you breathe fire reaction? I mean... Or you could try and so stop one. When I use You're not going to be able to stop all three. So when I use a reaction, it's only one attack, regardless if I have yeah, two attacks, mm -hmm. right? right? That's what I'm saying. You're only going to be able to maybe stop one. I mean, whose turn is it? It's technically Orm's. You're a, or you finish your turn. It's a, it's well, your turn now. Yeah, technically, technically, but it, but it happened on his turn, so he could use his reaction now, and then it's his turn. Technically, I would have to breathe fire because my arm is stuck. True. But so I would have to breathe. That, that replaces one attack. Him. Or you could, well, yeah, you're gonna have to break that as an action or something. If you breathe fire, it heats up your arm. It heats up yeah. your whole body's off. Yeah. Melting it off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, there you, that's a thing. All right, so what are you doing? I mean, I, I'll just breathe fire on this guy. Okay. And just take him out. I you guess don't think you can hit two of them? Yeah, you can hit two of them. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, mean, if I, the way two. I'm looking here, I can. Probably yeah, you can get two of them. All right. So the one guy, he's dead. The other guy, though, I got uh, a. It's a. Uh, natural three. He failed. Okay, there you go. Ten points of fire damage. All right. You hear the other guy, oh! just burn up. But as he does so, the other two, you hear them immediately start relaying. Many have been killed. Our brothers are under attack. There's a dragonborn. There's others. It could be part of the cult that we've been speaking of. And that's what you hear. Whoops. I only identified a dragon. I mean others. They yeah. call you all out, but... They well, uh, don't know what I look like. I look like a I'm corpse. all the way over here. It's true. <laughs> they saw you. I look like a corpse. A, a random ordinary human corpse. Right, but the guy that walked up saw you that you guys initially killed. Yeah, but he didn't say what we looked like. He did. You guys didn't hear what he was talking into. Oh, okay. He's the only one technically that isn't seen. And I'm like the most normal looking besides Joey of our party. Did did that fire breath warm? The cape enough to for me to do you do you want to maybe angle it so it helps <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. so you kind of bring it over i'll say in doing so it does but it starts melting away part of the whole bottom half of it Rip and cape. upon doing so the the fringe is still kind of like working away but it's gonna need rebuilt for the most part but your arm fully moves right. anything else but that's that's all i can do with my reaction problem what's your turn Oh, well then, kill them both. <laughs> Refire again. He can. Mm. Rough, rough, rough. 
Fuck. And attack again, too, so you can breathe fire and punch. True, I'm just concerned with the amount of damage I'm taking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take one? Yeah. Oh, that's what healing was for. Uh, all right. I, I'm a defibrillator. So, yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna go ahead and try to attack this guy. Okay. Front, the one I breathed fire on earlier. Uh, 21 to hit. Okay, that hits. 15 flashing damage. Howard. Falls. This one? Yep. I used to kill the last one before you talk more. I mean, you don't know, but you got a decent amount of information now. Is this, does he actually have a shield? Yeah. All three of these guys have a shield and a hammer. I'm going to use my fire breath, but I'm going to do... I'm going to do the repulsion breath. Okay. There's a 17 on my save. Oh, I think that's it. So... The deck save? It's a strength save. Ooh, 19 then. Oh, yeah. It's actually worked. Thanks. Yeah, he, he passed it. Alright. Yep. Alright, life on you. First blast. Boom, boom. The highest is 16. That was on this. Is he within 20 feet of my spiritual weapon? Yep. All right. Take a string with that. Yep. Nope. No? Nope. Okay. Same time. At this point, after this, he's the only one. You see him kind of drop. He puts his hands up. He says, in common, I surrender. I don't want to die. What do you want to do? Tell the radio in it was a prank. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, dude. Like, fuck. I hate when they do this. Dog. We didn't want to do this. This This is all your fault. Like, we didn't want to do this. God damn it. Why tell, can't we solve any tell, problem without tell killing your, people? Tell your comrades not to a false location or something, but we they better not show up here. That we ran. Give me a persuasion check. A disadvantage. I take Gildor's red mask that I still have in my bag that I I'm haven't got rid of, and I put it on. Yeah. I'm proficient. I'm yeah, go, but he's... You just watch you kill, I'm like, half his fucking crew. I'm gonna go steal some of these magic boots. One. <laughs> An intimidation? That's persuasion. persuasion. Seven. Let me live. So I walk up to him and take his little necklace off. Yeah, so you, just, off. you just pull it right. off. Yep. And then I cast a minor illusion at his voice, saying, Hurry up, hurry up, you gotta meet me in some place that. He just starts know. chuckling. <laughs> you don't know the channels that we're on. <laughs> Uh, fucking hot shit. Uh, shit. Uh, Alright, so I go up, go up to one of the dead bodies and I use Mantle of Whisper. What does that do? So, Ooh. I capture the shadow of them. Okay. Uh, and I can disguise myself as that person and I have all the information enough to pass myself off as that person. You know the channels. Oh, this is my boy! <laughs> hot damn. <laughs> Deal! Uh, so then I do the minor... Actually, I just sound like the dude. Yeah, you sound like the dude. And then so I know. And you know like, his name <laughs> is Rajor. And then I know like the areas around all. You know that he was a guard here traversing the area. He's just a normal guard. You immediately, poof, he just traverses the area with a platoon of five men, and as he does so, they all work for the New All Guards for the Crown. They are part of a secret uh, guards crew that essentially works the back half for protecting people that might be looking or trying to break people out of prison. Or uh, might be doing some mishaps late at night. Oh, so he probably entrances. knows how we can get into the prison now. Um, you know that the prison entrance is south, about a mile, about a little less than a mile, underneath a huge fake, like wooden tree stump. 
Okay, so I would also know like the areas around. You know, patrol, I'm yeah, you know that all these are the guys that he was patrolling with today, and there's no one else currently out on active patrol. And the people that you were calling to were like your commanders and subordinates at the New All Prison, which was, hang on, your direct um, subordinate would have been, or captain, excuse me, would have been um, Aldor. Aldronis. Or no, excuse me. I was gonna say another Aldor? <laughs> it's on the name that's well. Albor. It's Albor. It's not Aldor. It's Albor Trindor. Yep. Alright. Alright, another fucking dentistine. Yep. Okay. All right. No. <laughs> no. That's what I'm hearing. Good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Good luck. Some of the names are, are pretty similar yeah. as well. Yeah. Albor, Aldor. I so. wanna swipe some of the magic snow boots. Me too. Okay, so there are four dwarves. Yep. I am a dwarf. So they fit you. I don't know about me, but... They're too small for you. So, we came from this way? Mm-hmm. Okay, you so need I'm... to head towards me. That's the direction you know. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell the magical orb. Say, uh, the suspects are fleeing, they're heading... What way is that? The way we came? North. North? I was gonna say, if the, if the entrance... It was north. Thing is you south. would be... That would be technically west. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, they're heading west. There's currently... Four or five of them, we need immediate backup right now. Okay, so you say that. You wait a moment. Are they the same individuals? And now you hear this, not necessarily echoing through this, but it kind of hums like mentally through you as you are like attuned to this, technically. You wait a moment. We are not sending any more guards out currently. We are remaining watch at the gate. Do not have enough guardsmen. Currently, with everything going on, we'll remain <laughs> on pursuit, but not take it. Just come back. Do not risk your life, and bring back the rest <laughs> of the room callers. Do that. Okay. Now, as you do that, you hear a wavelength light come out. <clears throat> That's it. <clears throat> What do these boots do? Um, they so technically do allow you to just traverse Hexwell Snow without having impeded movement. So you can what run. Are you doing with this guy? So I take all I those don't want to kill him. Okay, so you gather you know five. You have five now rune collar necklaces. Does anybody okay. have the spell sleep? Could we incapacitate? No, that's it. That's it. We can time up, but he. I have him up in the fucking cold isn't gonna really do a whole lot for him. Hey, let me see that bad boy. Probably fuck three. So he saw me turn into a normal boots. shadow of his little uh-huh. friend. Dude. Place his boots with fuck. normal boots or just tie up his hands and give him a blindfold and just wander around. How long is someone will find the shadow guy? An hour. Hey, actually, your your guy is Gundar. I'm sorry. Your Gundar. Gundar. Yeah, Gundar, my bad. I'm sorry. And if I if I were to try to command this guy to sleep, how long would that last? I think how long is it? An hour? The, is it an technically hour? the spell is one round. The yeah. No. Then he would just command. attempt to sleep and it wouldn't even Ten get it. Ten seconds no. later. Yeah. Best command <laughs> is grovel. Yeah. Uh, um hold. Uh oh, why are we keeping this? Fuck. I don't know about you, Mr. Girth. I'm not in the ex- With your yeah. memories, not in the ex- you now know that business. this individual has a family oh. of 12 young dwarflings. Well, oh, his Lord family Lord. actually grew up in the mines, and the reason why he joined the whole part of this secret guard within New Wall is because his great grandfather helped mine out some of these <laughs> among the early expansions. When the mines were created. He's just crying and we're like... <laughs> I cast over pain. It's a terrible I don't know how that's going. Alright, what are you guys him, doing? I right. go up to him and I go... And I list off all his fucking kids' names. And I go, you want to fuck around with us? The guy, you're talking about the guy. Yeah. Wait, the guy I am is, has a family or this? Yeah, it's your memories. Yeah, oh, it's his, so the dude that we already killed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 bad, bad, just, we're just weeping in the back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about some gold coins? I love this thing. It's for his family. About the compound? Yeah. No, yeah. about his comrade, the guy who's still alive. Um, you know a little bit. Uh, what, do you know, what do you know enough to threaten him, like, like adequately, like family, friends? Yeah, he, you, he knows his friends. He knows his family. You, you know that this guy's name is Tradonis. His family. Uh, not immediate family of you, but he's family. He's like a distant cousin. Um, you guys have worked together for a long time, maybe five, six years, and uh, he's the reason why, or you're the reason why he joined. No, but, no, but does he? Yeah, have... he's asking if this dumb shit A has like a girlfriend he can threaten him with to shut him up. I mean, yeah, he would know. Uh, he doesn't have a. Necessarily a loved one, but he's got family. I mean, you guys have similar family cousins. No one close enough to hold hostage. Like, oh. I'll kill your cousin if you don't want to say. Who? <laughs> There's like 17 of them. All right. He just got his hands. Let me go. And what would you do? <sighs> so. I would just head back to the town and. Tell them the rest of my comrades are eaten by die wolves. That cat's out of the bag. I think they've, they are, your friends already described that a group of individuals, including a dragonborn, attacked you guys and killed your brothers. So Wait a minute, we have a solution to that problem. He can tell them they were attacked by dire wolves right now while in pursuit of the suspects. Okay. That just arouse more suspicion. Already... We don't need to be in the town that long, okay? <laughs> we have band-aid fixes here. I don't know. Um, we can either murder this guy in cold blood and just not worry about witnesses. We've already or my option. Uh we know that there's a guard oh, hold on. I'm I'm this is above table. Uh we know that there's a guard change at midnight. It's about and we've, we've already burned the one night, so we only have one more night. Theoretically, if we can get this guy to just fuck off for uh, forty-eight hours, he can come back to the city and it'll already be. Done. Yes, let's just work that. Way. Have this dude like wounded, kind of a little bit, you know, out in the middle of the wilderness with all these dire wolves around. You know, this terrible weather. I don't fucking know. I mean, Dog, I'm, you're gonna have. Alright, right, we're back. We're back. Fucking convince me. Like, I don't understand how, how I want you to live, and you want to live. It's a matter of logistics. I won't say anything. Yeah, I cast words of terror on. Let's make it. Soon. Fails. All right, he becomes frightened. Of okay. I say exactly what he just. What do you want me to do? Fuck out of here. Okay. Like I'm still. Yeah, I know. His... I know. I know. <laughs> no, I <can't. laughs> <laughs> he just looks at like the shadowy image of his. All in cousin, and he's look at, just look like at me, cousin, dead friend, yeah, terrified of here in his voice, I'm dead, and terrorized. Tears, tears start kind of like streaking down his face. It's all your fault. It's all you. As I correct, I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> he just starts like having tears stream down his face. I know I wasn't I wasn't good enough. Um, and get out of here. You just see him start taking off part of his tabard and his cloak. And he just starts taking it off and dropping it. Everything. He takes off Everything. the rest of his armor. And you yeah, see him strip down. Worse. He drops it. I was going to just let him keep his shit on. He gets up cold out here. and he starts just walking. He makes it about maybe 25 oh, feet. Oh, so is he naked? Uh, not fully naked. Is he going to probably die, though, based off how he's dressed? Yes. All right, tell him to come back. <laughs> he can't approach you, he's frightened. Yeah, he's already started walking away. So you just kind of see him walking off. That's the last you see of him. 
I'm just gonna call out behind him. Stay out of the city for 48 hours. I grab his shit and give him. I don't think that's gonna be just gonna freeze this. Like his clothes. I mean, as soon as we walk away, he give it to him. Like, dude, just stay out of this house. You grab him, you come hours. running down, and you just kind of throw it over him. You just see like, the tears dude. just kind of streaking down. Blood still kind of on his hands from the fight okay, before. Okay, so instead of like mercy killing people, could we just keep psychologically torturing them to the point of like snapping again? Yeah, you know, that was pretty ethical. I, 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 I don't like. I don't. I mean, mutilating workhead that one time that was just weird. That was fucked up. And he and he's like new. I like right. this guy. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Give me some of the Jake. There's what fuck are those? Well, Nothing. I mean, what I would prefer is instead of us having to figure out how we don't kill. People at our mercy. Hey, let's just not kill, kill people. You God, I want to kill, not kill people so bad. Are you good at talking to people? Because no, I'm not. I'm fucking terrible. All right, I ain't killed them. All right, so what do you guys do? You guys are out in the middle of nowhere, basically, yeah, on the back side of New Wall. I guess we're walking through the door. How long does that last? Huh? Hours. What? Okay. I was going to say, you, we already know the general direction south. About a mile and the yep. You're heading that way? But I feel like they're going to be going good, but. No, yeah. they don't have enough guards to guard the front gate. That's 100% true. Never mind. They didn't have enough guards. Because of a cult. They have enough bad guards. Wait. Oh, and the cult's related to dragons, so they're not even looking for whatever the fuck our group called now. He did call out a dragonborn, and they are worried about a dragonborn cult. So we might have slipped under that radar. Just like we are with the Red Council in these storms, we totally didn't allegedly cause. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. But also, there were only there were only five guards. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you guys start making your way towards this hidden location. Mm -hmm. It takes you almost the full hour, but you kind of keep track of your thoughts and where this is, and you make it the rest of the like fifteen minutes impeding most of this snowstorm where you guys come to a small circle opening it's condensed with tons of trees around and you see this small stump with this like kind of dirt unfrozen area around it that's about 10 feet wide by 10 feet you guys see this stump just kind of sitting there no snow foiled up around it it seems as if whatever drops in the area kind of melts away you guys make your way and approach and as you walk up, you lift, and you see that the stump is very light. And you feel this kind of hinge. Kind of, and as it opens, it's like a big old, like a five-foot little manhole that drops straight down. You see a little shaft next to it. As you open this hole, you see a little, like, chamber shaft where it looks as if manacles <laughs> or some sort of, like, chains can be hooked up and a little cage can be dropped down side by side with this manhole where maybe a prisoner would be loaded and then the guard would kind of go down side by side. You see a little lever to operate the machine. You guys can climb down the manhole or do whatever, but that's all that you guys see. We can't see how deep it is. Complete <clears throat> darkness. You're good on health. If I can't see it, yeah, it's all deeper than 120 feet. feet. About half. That's About half. scary. Okay. Um, then at some point during this trip, I would have taken a minute to cast Aura of Vitality. Okay. Uh, I'm super wounded. Yeah, I have like two missing HP. Like, so do I. <laughs> Yeah, um, like, I, I stubbed my toe okay. while I put on these Warren boots, and it's just robot. Oh, it's just bothering me. Okay. Um, it's Robin. I'm not wearing thick enough socks. Yeah. 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 These yeah. boots are a size uh, too small. Yeah. Yeah. About half. How many do you need? No, it's one you size need more fits all. Yeah, I'm at, yeah all doors have the same I'm size. I'm at like 90, <laughs> yeah. 19 yeah, it's, it's no. <laughs> <laughs> You're at 13 um, doors. 37 or 12 doors. Damn. Uh, okay, then I'm going to give you... I also have lay on hands. Uh, I'm going to give you... Um, should uh, we short rest before going down this murder hole? We can do that. Um, I'll, I'll give you. He has, uh, no, he has no watches. Yeah, that is correct. I do not. Fair. Um, we need twenty, so I need fifty. Um. Oh, okay. Then I'm just gonna take fifty-one to put me at full health, uh, and then that gives you thirty. All 
All right. So as you guys heal up, what are you guys doing? You guys are kind of hanging out on the top of this like opening where this like manhole just kind of goes down pretty deep from what you can tell. It looks as if like a like a almost like a ladder kind of just makes its way all the way down. I say we take an hour, get his wild shapes back, then go down the murder. Yeah, they already made the guard chain. Maybe if anybody has like a divination spell that could determine if going down the murder hole will cause immediate death. Recast that. Since it's a manhole, no ladder or anything. There's a ladder. There's a ladder. Uh, you know it's not exactly a murderous death pit. You know that this from your previous visions. I mean, you know that this leads down to like a main entry point. That's like a. Do we take a short rest? No. Okay. No, no sure. We have not yet. He's arguing, and I would love one. I'm not opposed to one. I'm Our party's a, pretty crippled. I'm not opposed. I like. You get you get action search. Mm-hmm. Did you action search? Mm-hmm. And it is mine. <coughs> during the never short rest, I get the form. All right, it's so you guys short breath. resting? Uh, it's long rest. Or not action search. During, during the short second. rest. Second win. Everybody gets 1d6 hit point. All right, so you guys are short resting? Mm-hmm. Short resting? Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. All right, so you guys are taking a short rest. Yeah. So you guys take so, it out. Do you motivate your speech? Is that a spell or is that a thing Bart it's a song of rest. No, so he has. He also has motivation. Speech, oh, okay. Which is a different thing. He was it's like a buff. Tempe, I don't know how long it lasts. What does Thorn Brewery do? Increased damage, maybe. How long does it last? If I know it's something to do with higher damage, I'm not sure what it actually does. What are you talking about? Thorn Brewery. I mean, it's just times and a half, like it's, or it's half, doubled. yeah, or doubled, yeah. yeah. One hour. That might be useful. But the song of rest is me just playing my little instrument resting. As I'll get more. I'll shoot back. You. Oh. Get dice. Now we're just down some spell slots. <laughs> the girth starts strumming away. You guys are resting, what are you doing? I have anything uh, else that has to do with short rest. I have no idea. Fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Girth. That shadow shit you did was kind of cool. Where'd you pick that up at? <laughs> okay. That's what I tried. You're a, you're a enigma, Mr. Girth. College so you're pretty much a rogue, oh, yeah. right? Oh. Like you are doing the most like oh, damage at once. You are a scholar. You are a scholar as well. Yeah. With your bow, like with that, the whole like thirty base. Whisper. Whisper. Right. He's, he's, a, he's a truly yeah. a mystery. I'm a rogue as well. Oh, I, I know. But... Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. More questions. This guy's fucking. We got shit, shit to do. <laughs> this guy's here. Where to get the loot from? Huh? He's going out. You literally just watch him shape shift and like mind steal a guy. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. This guy's fucking. Him being, nice. him being normal would be weird after that display. <laughs> that's a very good point. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Alrighty then. Are you fuckers ready? I think so. <laughs> yep. Fucking let's go down, man. You ready? Do we even know the names of the guys we're breaking out of prison? Dude one and dude two. Let's go. The oh, Javon yes. brothers. Gotta, yes, yes I definitely. I remember yes. they were brothers. I don't remember their names. Yeah, we got. Say, I, I have fucking definitely that. remember. Yep. Thinking, do we remember what they look like? Yeah, no, they got, you guys got a description. Yes, Javon dark, brothers. Dark one, they're both white or uh, pale skinned. Uh, one's blonde, one's black. Let's come, up, let's come up with like. A pair of brothers that aren't them. <laughs> two like, brothers. Like, two brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come on. <laughs> All right, so you guys gather yourselves. Like you get your equipment. You take your rest. Yeah. You guys start making your way down the manhole. I stand at the top of the manhole. Okay. But it's like big enough to where I can like jump down. If you want to. You don't know. That's what feather falls for. I'm, I'm gonna, staying up here. I'm gonna light a torch. Okay. Drop it in. All right, so you, you just it goes, it hits, 
and it drops about 200 ish feet and then stops and you see it kind of hit and it just bottoms out you wait a few moments in about five six seconds and you see a little dark individual go run over and grab the torch and then you see something kind of look up and then walk back well that was a problem Well, let's just go down. Fuck it. <laughs> we're climbing down. We're jumping down, boys. Is there an elevator? Why don't we just take the elevator? They already know someone's coming down the hole. It'd be weird if we just hopped in. There, there isn't there an elevator? There's a little like shaft for what looks oh, like prisoners oh. are loaded onto. Oh. Because you you looks like you have to climb down, and if you had a prisoner, mm-hmm. you can like climb down with them. So they have like a little shaft where you can like put manacles or maybe tie up someone with like a lid. That's like chained in, and it's like a gated, like it's not completely gated, but it's got like bars that go around. We can take the shaft. If you, I mean, you can always take the shaft. I'm gonna take the shaft. Of course you are. All right, so fuck this. Gets ready to take the shaft. Who wants to take the shaft with me? How big is this hole? Uh, five feet by five feet. And you said it's super dark. Yeah, it's completely dark all the way down. Oh, oh, okay. Um, then I think what I will do. Um, I will, I will start climbing down this hole, uh, and I will get five, ten feet in. Is there like, is it solid wall? Yep, it's like dirt and like rock that's been like perfectly cylindered out okay. all the way down from what Fuck you can tell. Bitch, I just jump oh. down. Okay, so you just, and you just, yep. and you jump. You doing anything? It's straight down. The, the 200, okay. 200 feet. Okay. I can fly. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you make it how far until you? Until I almost die. All right. So you have dark vision. So you make it about 110 feet down, and then you see the darkness really and like becoming dark. You know this is probably ground. You start making it to about 40 feet, and then you put out your wings. Or it's actually, more, you don't it's have more wings. like a jump off the air. Yeah. You just kind of kick off, propulsion yourself down a little bit and coast, and then you land. As you do, give me a perception check. Not uh, investigation check. Yeah, I'm just climbing Five. Down. As you look I'm around, you see one individual holding two torches about 20 <laughs> feet away from you. <laughs> and you see him. He's a dwarf. And he's just standing there. Oh! Ew! Stop. That's it. I, I I don't got anything. I'm climbing You're down. You're the only well. one down there. I'm climbing down. We're just, we're it's going to take a second. Okay, so you guys start climbing. You see that hole? <laughs> yes. That. That's the entry. That. Kind of looks at you and squints his eyes. Technically jump down it. What god group are you with? The one... I interrupt the like a guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have lied to him, though. He didn't know. We can't he I turns can questions and you see him he all. goes towards his chest and you see him start pulling whoa from buddy oh, I have a... whoa calm down give me a persuasion check we can't hear any of this just not yet you guys hey, gotta climb down a 200 foot hole maybe i jump what is I it i immediately shoot him what is it it's eight eight he How looks at you <laughs> why would i wait how fast does the shaft go uh for you pretty slow Oh, the shaft? Yeah. Just one? Yeah, I think I was the only one who took it. Okay, when you go down, uh, you're about maybe 50 feet from the bottom. So you, as this is happening? Yeah, as it's all going now, it takes about 15 seconds to get down, so he What's just the max dropped. damage I can take if I just dropped? Once you get within 30 feet, I think it's 20 Yeah, it'd be 20 D6. Oh, 20 D6, never mind. It's 20 D6 per 10 feet. So, you sitting here. Yeah, never mind. Why would I wait? I got to because I got someone coming down the shaft thing, gauge thing. Yeah, I totally work for you guys, 100%. Oh, yeah. Give me a deception check. <laughs> a disadvantage. Yeah. We're almost he there yet. To get the seat. A 10 to 20, said. Yeah. No. 10. He squints his eyes and he kind of just bags away. And you see now that there are four like passageways. He turns. We got four. He throws away and turns down one, and he just starts getting I ready to run down another one. Alright, roll to the tip. Yep. 
18. That hits. At this point, you guys are now... And you, you are both about five-ish, ten feet away. You hear... Fucking 13 damage. Well, 13. Right. It hits him. 10 feet away. Because you hear... Right. And he just keeps on running. Well, I'm going to keep shooting him until he's out of my range. Well, he's, at, well, he, he's not out of range. He just corner. darts behind the corners. Yeah, he, he yeah. takes one of the corners and just starts darting around. That's 10 feet. I... So you guys yeah, drop down, you're there, you hear this, it's completely dark, you see one lantern thrown in the second to the left lantern, or the pathway. We got problems. You can't go anywhere without shooting. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a problem. <laughs> well, I just mess with their brain. Yeah, I just want to... I so don't. Then better. you should have jumped down the hole. I don't have wings. I'm trying to... You have friends. feather falls. So, said, everybody give me a perception sure. check now that everybody's down here. You don't understand Killed everybody with spells. Eighteen. Twenty-four. Eighteen. Twenty-four. Okay. Was so you guys, for the most part, you notice that there are now four pathways, almost like four tunnel systems, both kind of dug out, all different in their ornate diggings and kind of cavernous builds. But you see that this landing you're in now is about 30 feet by 20 feet. It's like a circular round room, and you see a place where there is... A couple like places where people can be chained up along the wall like built into the rock wall and everything is stone and rock you notice that there's a couple places where lanterns can be hung and a couple torches can be like stuck into the walls but there are none that's about all you see the ceilings about from where you guys are about 20 feet up and then it kind of domes down and the caverns from where you can see are about 10 feet high and about seven ish feet wide okay so from everything we've been told, um, and like coming towards the, the city and you know, on the bridge, um, if we had to like guesstimate how far we, how far away we were from like the prison, about a half mile maybe. About half a mile from maybe the center of the city. A thousand from the center of the city. About you're about eight nine hundred feet maybe more from where you can think would be under the city okay this is like hard rock oh yeah Stone. you're at like the bear the yeah. belly of the underneath of the mountain okay. tremor sense would still be stupidly yeah i think i have some tremor sense shit but um so uh, i think we need to get closer to the city I have a spell uh, called Locate Creature in which I can describe one of these twins, and if they're within a thousand feet, I just know where they are. So I so need, you to, get, need to get to the prison. I need to get closer, and then and then <coughs> I can get us damn close. But we're not there yet. So let's fucking choose a direction and start walking. He threw a lantern down one, torch. and then he walked down another one. Yeah, he went down that one. He threw a torch in the second to the left one, and he ran down the farthest right one. So either he, took the, he probably yeah. took the most complicated oh. route. Why did he throw the torch down the second? Um. You're. Here? Are you good with stones, rocks? You got any insight in no. this? No. Is that racist of me? Assume it's more. Damn. If you didn't notice, my skin is purple. Yeah. I assume we specialize in murder and torture, not stonework. Oh. I assume it was just because you're going to be racist. Get the right stereotypes. <laughs> well, yeah. I just assumed it was because you're good with stone. Where you li- you never saw the sun. Well, you're so. I mean, I guess that doesn't make. No, I'm purple because of mind players. Oh. Yeah. Wait. No, mind player? Not me specifically. Okay. All right, I'm good. Like, great. All right. Well, then, I have absolutely no idea what we should do. Honestly, I'm just kind of making it up as, as I go along. I what if I, I what if I describe the guard that ran from us? We need to locate creature on him. But I can locate creature twice. So theoretically. I mean, he's probably running towards the prison. That's 100%. That is also 100% true. You're... Yeah. I'm going to walk over and grab the torch that he threw. Okay. So as you... I stuff pit you go over. Out. As you make your way up to where the torch is, you kind of crest that, like... 
little threshold. Bit yeah, like the, the threshold in. And I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw. Fucking damn it. <laughs> All right, trap. Right, there's traps in these. Does it? It got past my passive investigation of 16, Sag. Eight. Eight. So as you walk in, you see immediately from both sides this large spear from the top and the bottom. Just, <clears throat> you dodge the first one, but the second one goes right into the side of your thigh, and it's going to do 12 points of piercing damage as it just sticks yeah. right in. As you do so, you feel <coughs> something kind of seep into you. I need a constitution saving throw. Oh, dwarf traps having poison in it? Because poison is... Well... You fail that too. And now you are poisoned for the next hour. I'm going to go ahead and lay on hands five points. Not poison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you feel it just kind of subside. <laughs> okay. You see him just kind of... Ch- ch- not that, not spears path. retracting. You go up, you grab the torch. Slow. So <laughs> you, you you walk back to where the group is. Well that hurt. <laughs> you now see the trap like rearm back and back into the wall. Alright, let's uh be weary of the starting to think the leg must be a little better now. Starting to think we should uh take the path he went down. I'm but, still on the locate creature train to get up to him. How long does that take? Uh, it lasts he's an the hour. Magic-y man. He's not that f- fucking booking it. I assume there's traps down every path, so he's got to take some. Yeah, but he's something. he's probably taking the safer route, or the more deadly route with a way to ignore traps. Look, Prince. Investigation. Well, Prince, somebody should do that. I can do that. <laughs> I'm good at investigating. I cast guidance on him. Okay. 16 plus fucking 6, 22, whatever the fuck guidance oh, is. I got a D4. So you notice plus that one. a lot of the foot passage goes actually down the same one he walked into. Yep. That is where the most passage of foot travel goes. The least amount so goes... the most passage of foot travel goes through there to maintain all the traps down that death hole. The second most traveled one is the farthest right one, followed by the third most traveled is the farthest left one, and the least traveled is the third to the right. You went to the very right. Uh-huh. Nothing behind. Nothing but the whole no ladder, ladder in the shaft. Yeah. I mean, if you guys want to investigate anything other than that, I mean, you could, but looking at that, that's what you can tell. Are you looking? Are you looking? Does anybody have dis- uh, detect magic? Um, let me see if I have prepared. That wouldn't help unless these traps are met. I do not. Like, so with the investigation checks, could we track his footprints or? That'd be survival. There's too many. If you want to walk up to where he walked down the right side and try and maybe see if you can get a beat, you can try that. You want to do that? Yeah, I'm, didn't he get... so, I'm on. I'm on board with just following this guy. Let's use locate person and I just follow him. Look. I didn't. Yeah, I rolled a natural. Oh, yeah, you walk up. Yeah, investigation. I rolled a natural twenty. Twenty-two. Okay, so you walk up, and I'll say, we'll see what he rolls as well. Fourteen. Okay, so both of you go up. You notice there is blood that's dripping from the shot. You also notice that just as soon as you enter, there's like a runic mark that must have been like kicked when he was running that you see that some of the dirt from the stone has uncovered. You also notice that immediately lining this wall is another trap. Um, Dwarven? Uh, you notice as you look at it that this says pass wisely. Is what? Pass wisely. If you, what was your, well, the natural twin you're helping them, you notice that there are more runes along the other, like, four passages. This one saying pass wisely, the other one saying pass with entrance. That is the second. We'll go one, two, three, four. So four yeah. says pass wisely, two says pass with entrance. One says pass with fire, and three says pass with doubt. 
Oh, fine. Um, do these appear magical in any, in any way? Uh, I mean, they're runes. Uh, give me yeah. an arcane check. Like, Are you proficient in arcana? Yeah, you can give me an arcane check. Anybody's proficient. You kick the rune? Well, yeah, well, like when he was running, he kind of scuffed it so you could see it. So when you guys went and looked, you guys kind of had to brush off a little bit, but 18? 18. Possibly. Um, you're not sure. You know that some of these runes are usually activated in some way to become magical. That's about all you would know with rune magic. So, um, like I said, the, all right, we're talking shit. So the second one pa says pass with entrance. Mm -hmm. These guys have magical doodads, which might be like badges. I've got like, I've got like five of them. Yeah, head. which is, I know. I saw you pick them up. So I'm just wondering if we just put those on, if we might be a-okay. We'll pass them out. We should go down the same one he went through, because that might be the guard way. Hmm? And these would give us safe passage that way. I don't know. Uh... Now, as you kind of hold those out, you notice it's still kind of illuminate blue. So, if we bring the necklaces next to that little room thing, is it put all? No. Is it already? But as you, like, are you guys walking in? I'm, uh, I'm going to go to the second one, the one that I know is trapped. I'm going to just, like, somersault through this trap. All right, give me a dodge give me, action give me, through this doorway. All right, so you know it's there, and you just kind of give me an acrobatics check. Oh, okay. Guidance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. Oh, plus a plus a walking. Uh, fucking ten total. That's all you needed, actually. So you go through, and you just kind of quickly and, whoosh, and as you go over, you see as you cross that threshold, and you go a little bit further, the rune illuminates. You see this bright blue, and that rune illuminate. And do the things start retracting again? Slowly after they go, yeah. I'm proficient in Arcana. Do I have any indication as to what the fuck that means? It's active, or something. Okay. These things are these spears mm -hmm. that have jutted out. What are they made out of? Just normal, like, steel and metal. Uh, sure, I'll try whacking it with my stick, see if I can bend one, so that way it can't retract in. All right, so as they're kind of going in, you see that part of them are made with, like, a wooden kind of almost appendage that's, like, shafted out to the head point. Mm -hmm. And you kind of go in and you just break one of the top one off, and before the other one goes, you try and, like, kick it, and it kind of bends part of the blade in a little bit. Um, It maybe won't point out directly jagged the next point, but at least someone could maybe jump the bottom blade and make it over. Okay. I don't know. Let me choose a direction. Okay, I'm gonna use my leap again because I got like fucking eight of these. Okay. And I'm gonna get flying speed, so I'm gonna be five feet off the ground. Okay. And I'm just gonna go forty. I'm gonna go all sixty feet all right. down his hallway. Okay. It seems we've committed to the second bit. Second so you hallway. launch yourself over, and as you do so, you boom, and as you do, you make it about twenty feet in, and then you hear. <laughs> And I need four dexterity saving throws. Just so you're aware, I handed out all the necklaces Which that we have. Okay. This, that this was the this was uh, twenty pass with entrance. Fifteen. So apparently 15, these things are not. Fifteen. Are not I, I just rolled three fucking tens. Yeah. What is your AC? Sixteen. Do they hit or are they saves? Hang on, because I needed to know. Okay. So. At that, you fail all your saves, and you immediately... Fails? Well, no, one saves, but there are four shots. So how many did you roll? Four. What was the lowest? Fifteen. What was the next lowest? Fifteen. What was the next lowest? Fifteen. What was the, yeah, so three fail. So one passes, so you take three. So you will you take a nat 20, 17 hits, and the other miss. So you miss five other shots. So you see two as you dart through the speed saving you, you see two out of the side, just a, a barrage of air <laughs> as you rip through. You get hit by two. You take 22 points of damage, okay. and you feel 
something kind of sink into you. I need a constitution saving Add throw. Add advantage because I'm a dwarf. Yep. 15? 16? You're good. So as this one, you feel almost this poison seep in and you see it kind of just oozing out of your wound. No effect. Second wind. You land. And as you do so, you see now this like a barrage of like four or five, like almost like holders of arrows empty. I'm fine. This one seems like I have like a lot of fucking traps. I don't think this is the one. I don't think this is the one. It's too late. I'm already all the way over here. All these arrows are empty now. <laughs> so come one. back. No. <laughs> Give me a perception check. This is a good one. Four. Can I use investigation to look for more traps? Sure, yeah, if you want to look for traps. 19 plus 6. You 25. look further down the hallway, you see about, I'd say, 5 or 6 plates that are almost like offset. that are kind of sifted up, and with your dark vision, you can tell that they're about a quarter inch higher. Can I use my thing that would I... My tele, my telekinetic movement that I would use to move objects to push the plates down. I want to? I'll you can do just that. pick. You could like pick up something, just drop it, yeah. or try and activate it. Okay, yeah. so you pick up like a small stone, you drop it on the first one, and as soon as you touch it, you see this large like column just <clears throat> slam up to the ceiling, and then just. It's like the sound of that. Well, I know where they are now. I, I'm just gonna put stones on all of them. All right, so you just, and in a minute, you just, and as you just start busting all of them, you see some of the ground above you just start kind of like shaking, and a few pieces kind of like fall down, you kind of fall back a little bit, and then they all kind of... You guys need to hurry like now. I don't know if I like this tunnel anymore. You need to hurry now. I have disabled all the fucking traps. Why don't we go so what are you guys doing? Trail? Yeah, let's, do we know? I, I think I like this blood trail better. <laughs> Did you see? Oh my god. Fucking come back. It's too late. It's not too late. It's too late. You can just walk back. It's through 60 feet down the hallway with no more traps. We've disabled more yeah, traps. Yeah, there's another 30 feet of more disabled traps. Is there only 30 more feet? I can find more. Yeah, but there might be another 800 feet after that. All 800 feet filled with more traps. As you look further down, you see an exit about 200 feet down like a small wall with a singular doorway i don't like it's right there <laughs> it's right there i don't care he says there he says there's an entrance there there's an exit about 200 feet from where he's standing he's already, he's already about halfway something ish seems like the traps are getting worse and worse a little bit yeah okay Hey, that's what summon creatures are for. You have that spell. <laughs> but I don't want to... I don't want to... Animals. Oh, yeah, you mean the fake animals that are made out of, like, debris around you? Like, like, real like, real in my heart. Heart. <laughs> just pushing so down just the down the path. Okay, so you just start walking forward down the same one he is. He's just three feet ahead of me, the, the mage well, just, So you make it all the way down to where he is. Mage right. hand, just... That's, that is the other thing I do. Just like a mind sweeper, but so now both of you are just down. They're these. They're going this way. You go this way. I guess we're going. We. I guess we're going this you way. Go you this started way. this. I went five feet in here. You went sixty-five feet. <laughs> Fucking all right. All right. All right. Mayhem party. <laughs> they just the three men heads just going. Boop, boop, all right, I'm gonna fucking. I guess we're going down this way. Okay, so you guys make it. You guys jump past the first That's little the trap. You guys make it about 100 or so feet <laughs> down. You meet all up. There's about 180-ish or so feet down this kind of tight, little bit slightly winding cavern that goes straight to this doorway. It's completely dark. <coughs> I still have that torch, right? Yeah. Weird. So, what do you do? I'm also going to use my hand. Yeah, All right, so you guys, you walk out. Yeah, just, as you do so, yeah, you, yeah, exactly. there's nothing for about 20 or so feet. And then as you guys keep making your way forward, you make it about 50 more feet, and then you hit another pillar, and it <laughs> slams to it. And then, and then another one. <laughs> flames. Then you guys kind of weave through. Well, um, pillars. 
you guys make it about another 60 or so feet where their last like 50 feet are where Can the I stone for more for them to find them yep give me well, an investigation this, like, I'm, I'm doing this like yeah but right 22. you see that now the last like 60 feet you don't see any plates but as you look up on the walls you see something on the right and the left side of the two walls like sticking in about a solid foot that the other walls weren't. I'm gonna tell them to fuck with that. As what you side? kind of rub on the side of it, you uh-huh. slowly see the wall and you see like sifting of sand and stone start and just start slowly closing. Yeah, I'm not trying to squeeze in between that. So let's just We're just gonna wait until it re- it slowly it not. starts oh, going. I'm going to make hand just try to like see the door lock. You the mage door. hand. How far does mage hand go? Thirty feet ahead of me. Uh, do you, mm. so you walk out. I don't know how far the door is for me. Sixty, 60 feet. 60. Oh, then never mind. You see that there's about sixty feet, and these large walls are just, and there's one singular doorway right in the center. Oh. Wait. About five seconds go by, you see these walls are about four feet thick on each side. Wait, is there any they big start... rocks? I have a big thing. rocks. Yeah, around. No, uh, I mean, are these not boulders? I, I, I mean, anything that's like this big. No. Fucking hold on, I have. I mean, back about seventy feet where you were knocking down some of the ceiling, there is. Hold on, I have, a, I have a thing I can do. Hold on, hold on. Oh god, I haven't used this feature like fucking ever. Uh. Hold on. Yeah, with a familiar... Do you have a uh, tools kit or a thieves kit? I have Tinker's tools. I could probably do a couple of the same and things. Fucking... I mean, with that investigation, this is mechanical. Uh, you can, you can expand it. Why I should find familiar spell when it fucking appears. It appears thirty feet of me. And so, this tunnel, to the end of the tunnel, not uh-huh. to the door, this tunnel that we is closing yep. is 30 feet? 60. 60 feet. Well, fuck. That well, it, it's not closing in that fast, so if you summon a familiar and get to the door. I, no, I'm, yeah, so, fuck it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit, baby. And by that, I mean a summon fake creature. <laughs> Alright, so you someone familiar 30 feet yeah, out. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be, uh, let's go with a raven. Okay, so you summon a little raven and it just. Yep, I'm gonna tell it to fucking fly down the fucking whatchamadoodle. Alright, so it flies down. And it yep, uh, it makes it all past, past the, the yep. squishy part. It's fine. Yep, at this point, they're about like halfway, maybe 10, 15 feet in. They got maybe like 30 more feet before they're meeting. Before, oh, okay, the doors. We're actually about 20 feet before they're like together. Okay. Um, How wide are these rooms? The, the hallways are about 40 feet now in this 60 foot room. And then my familiar. Not the whole hallway. It's about 10, 15 feet all the way down. It was about five feet and then it kind of oh. bridged out a little wider. And now at the end, it's. Okay. Uh, well, we are within 100 feet of each other, which we are. Yep. Uh, I am going to uh, transfer my senses. Its eyes and ears. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna start just looking around the room. So right, you look around the room. You see the two walls closing. You see a doorway at the opposite end of the room. Uh, as you look at the door, you do notice that there is what looks to be some sort of um, little, almost like, almost like oval socket that looks to be matching some sort of rune. Uh, give me a <laughs> wisdom or an intelligence check. Guidance. Oh. These things are not. He's. Uh, this is <laughs> what the hell is this? An intelligence check? Wisdom. Yeah. Or oh, wisdom. Yep. No, that's well, that's way better. Uh, fourteen, sixteen total. You can see that this rune is very similar to the ones that you ripped off of the individuals and the guards earlier. Okay. It almost like fits that oval shape. Uh, and so this little landing I'm in only has the one entrance which is currently mm-hmm. closing and the door. Yep. Okay. I was I didn't open it. So we need somewhere. to put this rune thing in this socket apparently. Uh yeah. Um then I 
You guys are all just standing there just watching this bird at how, the end of how, the hallway. How close just, is it? At this point, it's there, about there. Uh, 15-ish feet left. Um, I'm going to... You guys got about like 10 more seconds before it's maybe going to get small enough to where like... Look at the... How food. wide is this like thing of like closing doors? Like is it like from, from here feet. to the other side? 60 feet. The thing? Apparently you can dismiss and on the other side, side where you see these walls like closing in, you just see stone walls. Can okay. someone just throw the rune at his fucking familiar? Uh, I'm actually going to just dismiss the familiar to a pocket dimension. Okay. And then I'm going to resummon it next to me. Okay. So just... Uh, and then I'm going to give it to the raven. Right? Is it... Would it be able to fly carrying this necklace? I'm assuming it's not that heavy. <sighs> yeah, but putting it in from what you've seen, oh, that's, good point. that's not going to be able to happen. It could probably carry it, but it's not going to be able to put it in. And the only mm. person here fast enough to get that in there is me or one of you with mage hand. And at this point, you got about 10 feet left. As you see, the wall is just kind of... What are you guys doing? We still have this. I think we should. We don't have more. That's what I thought we were doing the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't want to be caught in a stone death trap. That's a whole lot. Like, we could have booked it. We could have made I did, it. But I, I didn't survive in there for eight hours just in the stone. But yeah. once it, once eight hours is over. Like, I didn't, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't want to I'm die. kind of stuck there. All right, so you guys, after you wait a few moments, about five seconds go by and you see the stones just. And now you have about. Eight foot wide of stone, sixty feet, all the way to the door, completely blocky. It doesn't seem as if it starts going back. Completely blocks out that entrance. What triggered that? Why don't we go back and touch this? Yeah, what triggered that? Touch uh, touching the walls. Was it the walls that are closed, or was it? Where yes, it was, it was the walls that were closed. Uh -huh. So it seems as if. Entering or walking onto that 60 foot point started those walls. It was almost like a timer. Can you summon Earth Elemental? Yeah. Not even the little ones? Oh. <laughs> no. Not today. <laughs> Not today, currently. Damn. That's the only thing Let's I can think of. Yeah, we yeah, gonna we're going to fall asleep in this. Trap 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 the traps will protect you. Yeah. I'll be empty. You wake <laughs> up. Oh, what happened? Oh my god. Maybe if we wait eight hours, you someone will come down, <laughs> see that this thing is, is reset closed. Reset it. Let it reset through. it. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. That's it. We should wait it out, baby. I mean. Alright, you Bloodstain? could try to burrow. Bloodstain. I mean, this looks like solid stone. I'm, I'm more of a. I'm talking about underneath. It yeah, it's stone. Yeah, it's, it's you're in a uh, mountain. Okay. This is like just, very he not dirt. very heavy stone. This is not this so is, much dirt. I was gonna say this is yeah. just uh, like regular stone. This is the, the black stone, like that complex goop. Uh, you see small hints of it, but not where you're at currently. The that most is. I can do is hide in the stone. Yeah, I think we should That's just it. follow that blood stain. Yeah, let's go. Blood He's stain. got a hell of a head start now, but I mean, it's, been, it's probably been like 10, 15 minutes. From the beginning. Blood All right, so you guys. It's, Make it your way back. Mage hand, just in case. Going back, you go through the whole set. Look at my raven, some scritchies. Okay. And you walk on back. You guys go towards the fourth one. That's what. one has the blood uh, thing. With wisdom. It's still there. Oh, yep. yeah. Do we. Wait yeah, a minute. Wasn't pass, wouldn't pass without a trace stop us from triggering foot traps? I don't fucking know. No. Oh. I don't think so. No. We just don't no. walk in. We just don't leave footsteps. Like a, like a trace, crew. yeah. So you guys go to the fourth one? You know this one's trapped. Yes. Uh, we do know that one. The other one's passed with fire? I don't know what that means. I got a torch. <laughs> <laughs> the passed with fire? No. Passed with fire had the third most amount. Passed uh -huh. with doubt had the least amount of traffic. Uh -huh. Passed with doubt? Like, don't go down there. Pass without doubt. No, pass with doubt. Oh, okay. So, yeah. like, I doubt we're making. <laughs> yeah, so that's, <laughs> what that's what I'm thinking. Um, what's the matrix for? 
I mean, I got warding wind for the Pokemon. Fire kind of sounds. Let me choose. Let's just go down fire. Fuck. Christ. Fire. Long day. All right. Fire. So you guys start going down fire as you walk. There seems to be no trap. You know, obviously we know shit's traps. All right, we're going slowly. All right, you guys are going slowly. You guys make it about 200 feet. No traps. You see a doorway. About 50 feet off. You guys keep checking for traps, trying the walls, everything. Nothing. You notice as you guys get a little bit closer, the stone changes now from this actual stone to this very deep, dark, black stone. As you guys get to about 20 feet closer to this Mage door. Mage hand, try the door. It opens. It's you go up. Yeah, you close it. It's too easy. You open it's the door. Like, there's a fire element. We're about it's to fire the fire element. Like a, like a, not that heavy, but a decently made stone door just kind of... Mm-hmm. And just slams open. Anything you notice on happen? the inside, it's quite well lit. And there are four lanterns that are illuminating a decently circular room. You guys enter? This is too easy. Let's go first. Probably our dragon. This, this, this is, is a fire. If you're walking there, there's going to be a fucking okay. great you walk in. All right, so you walk in. You see a circular, well... Resistance on him. Illuminated room. I have resistance. Or to any there, there's nothing that triggers or traps or anything you look around <laughs> and as you see there are five like hallways and as you do so you see that each hallway has what looks like a small kind of like stone engraved like door that is kind of not the handle more or less something that you like pull open and then would push back shut. You see it's got kind of like a handle on it that allows you and you see grooves on some of the bottoms. Um, what you see? Are there four torches? Mr. Four Field? torches, yep. Are they placed? No, nope, just evenly throughout the room. Just two on okay. the front, two on the back. Oh, okay, okay. Um, as you enter, give me a perception check. Five paths. Excluding the one we're in? 15. Um, you look, and as you look around, you see that there's... Uh, being a Dragonborn, and some of your background especially, you see... Give me a religion check. Um, you notice shitty drawings is the best way to <laughs> depict it, of <laughs> like Tiamat. You see some of possibly other draconic figures, but with that little roll, the only one that would be very noticeable to you would be that. Um, you see other dragons, many of them drawn bigger. I see almost them like lining up with some of these flames, but it doesn't seem to really depict anything. Um, you see that some of the floors next to some of the doors are like charred a little bit, but and the room just kind of has an elevated temperature. I'm going to motion them to come in. I'm going to say, hey, Orm, take a look at that. I, I, I also fire. check. I'll just point out, like, the Is anybody dragon. proficient in history? History? Mm. No. Or, or religion? I'm no. proficient in religion. Okay, uh, you, you would know that I'm just by love. looking at these, that you see oh, yeah, 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 yeah. many so, draconic... So, old yes. Dot is history. Yes. The, in history? You know, jack of all trades, you could... In history? The role of the doctor. Okay, so you know that these depictions are of a time that seems to be spoken of. You maybe have heard word of this in school, though it wasn't like your, you know, field of a time during or possibly right up to the calamity. When there was like a a bridge in many magical openings throughout not only this planet but many throughout the galaxy possibly and there were many religious uh sacrifices um rituals that were done during this time and this looks to be some sort of room that was almost set up for some of that and you see that many of these doorways some of them could possibly lead to immediate death almost like death chambers 
that some of these with impending doom and things coming, you heard of people joking about, you know, going to these fire death chambers where people die to magma pits. Um, you, knowing this, know that these pits are where certain sacrificial and rituals were done in some areas a long time ago that were to do with certain deities. Not necessarily Tiamat, but other draconic deities. You're not quite sure who, um, but definitely some that align on the more evil side of the draconic pantheon, for sure. So, you guys looking around this room? What do you do? I am going... Uh, I'm going to cast Youth Flame. Okay. So I just have kind of like a, a, like a load of flame. In and my as, you, as you do that, it kind of emits way more than you were ready for. Ooh. It just kind of like, like really emits. Um, I'm going to... Has my torch flame changed? Yeah, a little bit actually. Yeah, it's it's grown in flame too. That would have been something almost like when you noticed. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed that. That would have you know grown immediately as you would have walked in. I've got extra torches. I'm going to. There's five paths, excluding the one we came out mm -hmm. of. Um, starting with the one on the left. Okay. I'm going to like walk up to the threshold and like hold my flame, see if anything happens. Nothing and if happens. Nothing happens. I'm gonna move on to the next one and we do all five. As you do that, nothing happens to the doors. This this uh, these pictures of these draconic essences and stuff, where are those exactly? Those on the floor. They're just kind of drawn along the sides of the walls. Like this is a circular room, maybe like twenty feet by twenty feet. It's not very big. Um it's more like a hub for whatever offshoots from this room. As I'm checking all of those thresholds, do I see anything, or is it a dark hallway? Uh, they're all closed doorways. I mean, if oh. you want to pull them oh. open, they all have, like, actual doors that are oh, on them okay. that you'd have to pull open. Uh, okay. The only other thing I'm going to do is, uh, before opening any doors, can you kind of scanning with a fucking fire uh, any of these pictures, see if there's any reaction there. You don't necessarily see any pictures, but as you kind of now really looking, you look up and right above each one of these doorways, you see in some areas uh, what looks like almost like a numbering in some sort of language. You're not quite sure, but as you look, it almost is like right above each one of these doorways. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point that out. Uh, so whoever speaks Dwarven, when he points this yeah. out, you see that these are Prisoner 1. Prisoner 2. I give him a And this is in Dwarven. You see this labeled above each door that these seem to be marked with prisoner numbers. This this hallway, we were about, you said 900 feet from like underneath the city. Mm -hmm. You come it like 200 feet in. Do it. Uh, yeah, sure. It lasts an hour. Um, okay. So... Yeah, I will describe uh, the fucking one of the the Joven brothers. Okay. I'll do the the I'll do the blonde hair. All right. So you describe one um, as in much detail as you can, and you cast locate, and it's up to a thousand feet, right? Uh, yep. If he's within a thousand feet. Um, you notice well, that from your direction. Yeah. He building is about uh, almost 700 feet yeah. like if you're looking straight ahead uh -huh. from where you guys just entered this room yeah he's about northeast about 700 feet that way okay about on the same underground plane as you are okay okay uh, i'm gonna point that direction it does that match up with the door at all it does. Okay. Four, four. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that's interesting. That's our best lead so far. Um, let's see what's behind door number four. Yes. All right. So you guys walk up. Uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be kind of in the back, far away from a door, in case it explodes. Okay. So you walk up. Um, who's opening it? 
What do you do? Probably someone with Mage Hand. Too heavy for Mage Hand. Fuck. Probably someone strong enough to move a heavy door. I mean, this one's... This one is a big, strong door. Word of fire. Sounds like you, dog. I'll open the door. Do we have rope? Try to open the door. Uh, you... I mean, I'll say if you tied it back up after... When I drop yeah, wild shape, the little shape, ball just drop Right, the drop. Ground. So, I mean, yeah, I'll say you gather... So one of us has 200... Yeah, yeah someone's got a fuckload of rope <laughs> that's made into a harness, yeah. essentially. Yeah. So, yeah, you have a harness. Yeah. We can always tie a rope to the door and then... Pull or we can let the big, strong dragonborn that's resistant to fire to damage open. All right, so you walk up... You go up in, it's not too heavy. As you do so, you see that there's like a latch on the handle that kind of like, it's like a stone handle, and it's got like this latch on the outside of the door. As you do, you kind of like latch it open and pull, and after a few moments, you, and you see the door is about a foot and a half thick. And it's made of like thick, really well-made stone. And you really pull in, you get it about a foot open, and then you just hear a, Just a slight cough from inside. <coughs> you kind of peer around. Complete darkness. And then after a moment of your eyes adjusting in the lantern, kind of illuminating in, you see this smaller, very malnourished red dragonborn just slumped in the corner, laying down almost completely naked with like a small little like tether around its waist. is almost dead from what it looks like. And just this small little like five by five cell from what you can tell. You just see feces kind of mounded up in the corner and from what it looks like, no food. You see a couple of like bugs and kind of like claw marks that have been dug out from the ground looking as if searching for something to eat, but that's it. Okay, so you pull it all the way open and now the rest of you guys see all of this. And now with the light, you just hear this light breathing. After a few moments, you hear, Ah, uh, yes! Come to finally take me. Please, look quickly. Who are you? Uh, you see, he kind of like opens his eyes for a moment. And he, now seeing you, Oh, it's Grace. You've come. And it sits up barely, extremely weak. And now seeing you, this golden dragonborn. Is it true? Did you come from Bahamut? Did he hear my prayers? I don't know who that is. As you say that, you see like a slight life force just drowned from this individual oh so have you come to finally take my head then i'm not looking for you kind of looks around past you you're not a god kind of sits up for a moment what are you doing here you, <clears throat> you know anything about those these dragonborn cults going on around? I mean, <laughs> kind of sits up a little bit more and braces himself. We're not a cult. That's just what I've heard. That's what they call us. Something. But we, uh, we've been just taken from our. Our homeland, and we've nowhere to go. We've gathered, and many they don't like what we're doing. What do you do? Worshipping. As we should. This, this god you were speaking of? Yes, we, we believe in Bahamut. To have always prayed to. To we all pray to currently in these times. They think it's something more than that. Wouldn't happen to be the... 
Fire Lord. As you, you ever heard of that? As you say that, I've heard that name thrown around about a couple of the groups, but um, not that I know of. I don't think so. You should know. I'm not from around here. You haven't been to the keep, the castle. Where is that? It's far east from here. Any of us were taken during a storm chaser, well, incident recently. They were supposed to only take two, but they took, and he kind of motions to the cell next to him, five more of us for some reason. Been locked away, and all of us red dragonborn. I think they wish to kill us. So if I let you, we helped you get out of here. Where'd we go? Back there. That's where the Dragonborn are gathering. You should go. You yeah. may have family there. You guys want to free some Dragonborn? You, you mean, mean <laughs> the <laughs> cult that, that, that are like raiding and pillaging towns, borders? Those dragonborns? No. It's a, it's a no for me, dog. He kind of leans forward and starts to sit up. What are you all doing here? You're not gods. He came through here, come down a path, hit right here. I was cloaked and couldn't see, but sounded like some sort of instrument bringing me underground, I think. That was the only place you've been? Other than the walk to the cell, yes, for about the last two weeks. Wait, like two weeks, like, and like nobody's brought you anything to like eat? Nothing. How are you alive? You kind of look at the bottom, been eating bugs and taking whatever rainwater seeps deep enough into the ground while that runs above this. Not much. Okay, so I am of the vote that we should just find the guy who we leave the door open. So it feels right. Leave. I really don't want to save him. Yeah, and they can't, they can't, then they can't tell where they were here for specifically. Yeah, yeah. let them distract everybody. You go about opening the other doors? What are you doing? We'll find the guy eventually I open all the doors. What? It'll be what? like Black Rock Foundry. What is your name? My name, he looks. Egonic Bazoa. No. I open up another door. While this is all going on, you barely open one up with your strength, and you peer inside, you see a dead dragonborn. Rotting smells. Oh, it's so hot. You see a red just scales that are starting to just fester. We're opening up the other doors. All dead. You see just all dead dragonborns slumped up against the wall. Well, malnourished. Like lucky one, dude. Are they all equally as dead, or is there one less? About the dead? same time. It looks as if, like, judging by this guy, they were all probably put in here about two weeks ago. Like, he's just about dead. So I've heard these. Dragonborn raging, pillaging, brutality. Yeah, one of the generals, he's quite, uh, quite adamant on making sure that Bahamut is heard, and he wishes to create a place for the Dragonborn people. He says we're just taking our land that is rightfully ours. 
says he tries not to kill those that don't need killed. They're not injustice raids to my knowledge. But they are happening. He claims to be doing the, the name of God. Do I know anything of Bahamut being proficient in religion? Um, him being a god of justice for the most part. Um, yeah, seems, Bahamut's pretty famous. Seems as if he's uh, very much so a righteous and almost like a white knight. Dragonborn god is the quickest way I could kind of sum it up. Um, so he wouldn't be about like this, like. Doesn't seem Ooh. like right. Yeah, right. Something's not matching up. I relay that. Like, this <laughs> doesn't feel like it's something that he would be. He just kind of. He just kind of looks. That is. Not what we have been following. We have been doing many rituals and. We have been preparing for something the general says. He says that we are to gather all the dragonborn and bring them. Dragon scale keep. Castle awaits a future home, he says. Yeah, this totally doesn't sound like a dragon suicide cult or anything. It sounds like just general. Full of shit. Leading a false. I'm pretty sure Bahamut's like the dragon god that's famous for like polymorph, like normal people melting out. With like a bunch of <laughs> gold canaries. <laughs> It looks. Go see for yourself, young one. The general's name is Argonis Cavalier. I was hoping for him to have like the same last name as Jake. <laughs> just like come out of there, just like left field. Argonis. Fuck this. Yeah, no, oh shit, I'm out. Yeah. Shit, I'm out. His name was Argonis, A R G O N I S, Cavalier. C A V A L I E R. Now, as he sits here, he coughs a few more times. He takes a very deep breath. Can you help me? Have you taken part in this? Under this general? Yes. Gonna turn around and shut. As you do that, and it starts to close, you see him pull this small symbol, and he just closes it in his hand as the door does nothing, and it closes. You turn your back, and that's where we're gonna end today's session. We'll pick up next week in this room. The survivors of who we encounter have not come out mentally okay today. <laughs> the only the only dude that might be okay is the guard I shot. But yeah, so we'll pick him next week. You guys in the, the prison the, 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 in this room guard down the, the fire, fire hallway. Huh? I said that's where we'll pick him next week. Good yeah. session. Good job, guys. Good stuff. The guard we mentally tortured has. <laughs>